everybody, and welcome to Drawn and Quartered, the Ultimate Edition. Something has happened, but we're not going to talk about it, of course. Uh, but uh, we're going to have ourselves a lot of fun. we got a great project here with a uh, wonderful-looking character and, uh, and a very successful Indiegogo project. And, of course, we'll be getting to our guest here momentarily. Uh, but as usual, we always want to tell you guys that please uh, make a point of checking out all our links down below, particularly to our Fanspeak page on Facebook. Uh, that's a growing community over there, and we'd love to have you be a part of it. Uh, also, uh, of course, uh, I'm always told to uh, push those subscriptions and like buttons but uh, in truth, the thing that helps us the most being uh, live streamers is for you hit that share button and let your family and friends and extended community know what's going on uh, so they can get over here and watch this. Particularly this show is going to be a lot of fun, uh, particularly because of the debacle from yesterday and the subject matter. Uh, this is a really beautiful looking project and uh, I can't wait to see what our lineup of artists do with it. Uh, so uh, let me, uh, speaking of artists, let me come over and say hello to everybody. Uh, of course, uh, the first person I have to introduce, unfortunately, <laughs> is Booster. Hi, I made it as usual. Hi, everyone. I don't worry. Fan edition lives, baby. Oh yeah, it does. We, we're here all the time. You can't get rid of us, even if you want to. Yep, yep. That's a, that's a fact. We're we're like the plague. Uh, so uh, mm -hmm. rock on, guys. Uh, but uh, we also have some other great artists in here today, and there's one seat that's going to be full fill, filled here momentarily. And we're kind of waiting to see who picks this. Kind of a little bit of back uh, back uh, behind the scenes. Uh, 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 excitement. Uh, but uh, we are joined by uh, Star Storyteller. How are you doing, Star? I'm doing okay. Thank you very much. All right. Happy to have you here. And of course, uh, we're doing a Lady Alchemy today. Uh, and it's a very nice looking character. Uh, so what are you thinking about that? Uh, what, what's your plan? Um, well, I, I'm kind of trying to think exactly because I've, I've seen it and um, I'm trying to remember it from memory a little bit. All right. Well, we're going to give you reference here in a moment. Uh, uh, we're going to be talking to her, uh, the creator here momentarily. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, or you can find it online. It's pretty easy to get. So on uh, Indiegogo Project, just to let you know. Uh, moving down the line, we have Dina, my most favorite Dina. Hi, Dina. I love you. How many Dina you got, man? Uh, I have many, many Dinas. But you are the okay. best Dina. You're the, You're the only Dina. Dina to us. That's right. That's right. Okay. Uh, now, Dina, uh, I know you appreciate this uh, character, this project. Uh, so, uh, what's your plan today? What's my plan? Ah, uh, I already plan out what I want to draw and how I want to do it. So, yeah, we'll see. Well, may the best wins. Um, may the best person win. Yeah, absolutely. Now, of course, uh, we do uh, PG thirteen plus 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 here, and we always announce that just to let you guys know, because you get any little children, children's there, so they can cover their ears and eyes. Uh, but uh, Dina, <laughs> you usually take it to. We might to... say bad words like crap. Yeah, we might. And we might. Us. Yeah, we might do that. Uh, but uh, Dina yeah. usually is the one that takes it to the furthest degree. You are the most vulgar one here. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's <laughs> disgusting. Uh, so uh, Dina. <laughs> Are we, are we are you going to, going to keep it uh, modest today or are we going all the way to the board? Um, I'm going to keep it modest. Huh? I because I already have a plan to make because she Lady Alchemy Matrina is really beautiful in so many ways so I want to make I want to use a more artistic side and use a more classic way to bring it out. Yeah. yeah, and that's actually a very interesting thing, which I'll be talking to uh, when we get over to Martina. Uh, the character in the book is herself, and there seems that there's an actual reason for that. So uh, uh, I'm looking forward to hearing uh, all about that. Uh, but uh, uh, awesome. I can't wait to see what you do. Uh, we also have Eric Hawkins, who was on the Pro Edition last night and got to be part of the absolute collapse that was uh, the Pro Edition. Uh, but uh, Eric, uh, the great stick figure you, hear, you have here, you're showing your skill off uh, impressively. Uh, but uh, what do That's you think about our uh, subject matter today, dude? Uh, I think the subject matter is great. I've seen Martina on quite a few shows. I'm a sub to her channel. Mm -hmm. uh, I have no idea what I'm going to draw, though. I'm, I'm woefully unprepared. Oh, you are. That's not good. You shouldn't. Stay. Don't. <laughs> I'll come up with something. Don't now. let them see you sweat, Eric. Man, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, of course, uh, Eric will do something awesome as he always does. And uh, and I have to say though, because uh, I just recently checked this project out, because I didn't check it out when it came out originally, and uh, it is a beautiful book, actually. It really is. Uh, and I'm really curious to talk to her and, uh, and see uh, who did the art and all that stuff. Uh, for all I know, she did. Uh, but um, it is a beautiful book. It is a beautiful book. Uh, moving down here, we have Mets. Mets, there's scribbles on your page. What are you doing? What are they, what are they doing? Oh. What are they starting? Nothing. 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 All right. Uh, so, uh, Mets, what's your plan no today cheating. with uh, Lady Alchemy, dude? 
My plan is to draw boobs. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. is in the house. Oh, there he is. He's in the there house. All right. All right. All right, you have yeah. you have fun with that because uh, I'm having a feeling you're not you're not going to be alone. Uh, moving down here, we have ourselves a tank ferret. Uh, actually, really good artist. Happy to have him on again. Haven't seen him in quite a while. How you doing, Tank? Are you going to talk to me today, or are you going to shun me? Are you going to shun me, Tank? He's he's shunning me. Do you have volume, yeah. Tank? What's your one? Damn it, Tank! All right, fine. Has a pussy cat. She does have a pussy cat. She does. Uh, okay. Uh, and uh, hey, oh, he just came in. Uh, all right. So I'm going to leave Tank Ferret alone because he's having technical difficulties as men of his age <clears throat> usually do. Uh, but uh, moving down. Zach. Hey, dude. What's up, man? Hey, buddy. Happy to be here. <laughs> I'm happy to have you. Uh, now, uh, we're doing Lady Alchemy today. So uh, what's your plan, sir? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? You'll just have to wait and see like I always make you hey, wait. Hey, now, I'm in charge of the show. You answer me when I speak to you, son. Uh, I don't take orders from you. <laughs> no, you never do. This is true. <laughs> very, very true. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, of course, Zach is uh, was on the Pro Edition last, uh, last night, and uh, I hear you did a pretty good Black Canary, dude. How did it go for you? Uh, it was really, really fun. I had a lot of fun, and uh, and I really, really hope that it comes back eventually. And that's all I'm going to say. Oh, well, we're not going to worry about that. We're going to do our thing. We have the <laughs> Ultimate Edition, and, uh, of course, we have a lot of fun. Now, uh, uh, do keep in mind, uh, uh, we're not exactly sure we're going to do with a prize or thing like that. We're going to talk, I'm going to talk to Pixel, and uh, we'll make a decision on that. But uh, uh, we're here to entertain anyway. We're here to have great fun. We're here to support indie creators because that's what we do on the fan, on FanSpeak, right? We're all about uh, supporting and uh, doing everything we can for the indie revival. Uh, so it doesn't really matter as far as I'm concerned anyway. Uh, Let's just have some fun uh, doing art, and uh, we do have a lot of fun here with our with each other. So, uh, thank you guys for all being in here. We got 39 of you in here now. We'd love to see that grow. Is this going to be our 100 show? Is it gonna be? Is it gonna be? Well, uh, hit that share button and let your family and friends know what's going on, so they can come be part of it. And of course, our last artist of today just showed up, and we have Siege is back. Hey, Siege, what's going on? Hi, can you hear me? I don't know. Can you yep, hear we can. Me? I can hear okay. you just fine. Hear you. I never yes. know if my thing's gonna work. Okay. You never know if you're thinking. Mm -hmm. you know, Booster says that all the time. It's unfortunate. Yeah. He's very young for that kind of problem. <laughs> oh. Uh. Sorry, I didn't set you up for that. Yeah, sorry. Uh, but, uh, low, Booster, low. You know, uh, but I have to That's, say, dudes, you guys better be ready because we have three very good female artists in here today. Which, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, which is interesting because uh, uh, we have a great female character to draw. So uh, uh, happy to have you here, Siege. Uh, you know the subject matter uh, well enough? No, I don't know anything about it. Okay. Well, I'm going to bring <laughs> up a thing here and uh, show it in a minute. Uh, but uh, while uh, before I do that, of course, uh, it is time, perfectly timed actually today. Uh, I'm very happy we're right on time. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over to our guest, uh, Martina, uh, the creator of Lady, uh, Lady Alchemy. Actually, she is Lady Alchemy from what I understand. And uh, what she's going to do is she's going to give us, Booster, the most exciting countdown that has ever been had in the history of happen. countdowns. It's going oh, to be beautiful. Oh, no pressure. No pressure at all. She's got to count yeah. them down. And then what's going to happen for the next two hours, these artists are going to draw her character. And the only rule that uh, we have is no color. Other than that, they could do everything they want. Uh, this is, of course, PG-13++++++. And uh, therefore, they are allowed to be naughty if they like. And if she gets I'm offended, then I the shall blame you and point fingers. Uh, but anyway, uh, Martina, hello. How are you doing? Hi, I'm well. Thanks for having me. Oh, very Ooh, happy to have you. Uh, oh, oh, and, oh, no. Uh, oh, no, the cat left. Uh, oh. But uh, so, Martina, are you ready for this? Are you going to give us the most epic countdown of all time? Okay, you're making me nervous. Now I have to do. What, what do I just count down from ten? I would I'm count down from five you or three, actually, any and make it like. uh, uh, either energetic opening. or uh, you know whatever you think will uh, get the okay. most attention from the uh, artists. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, let me know when. All right, go ahead. Five, four, three, two, one, draw. 
<laughs> go, go, that means go. <laughs> that means go. That's go it. Everybody, go. Do your Man. art. Do your Pistols art. Go. Okay, we got two hours on that. And uh, I don't know, Booster. You want to? You want to grade that? You want to judge that? Was that? Was that worthy? Was that a worthy countdown? That was a ten, that was a ten out of ten. That oh, was, you are a that bastard. Was oh. I loved it. Bowing <laughs> to the I female. If I, had to perform, if I yeah. knew that I had to perform, I would have prepared something much more spectacular but mm -hmm. that was my counting backwards from five performance there was it was just fine i think it was good uh, all right now uh, these guys are getting the art going and they're going to start getting their structure and stuff in of course and uh, uh while they do that we're, we're going to have a little conversation here with martina uh so let me bring this up and uh before i go over and start showing off your uh, lady alchemy uh, project and uh, other type of stuff we have available i do see you have a, a poster there behind you uh i basically yeah. I, I would like to get to know you if you don't mind uh i'd like to uh, know how did you come to get into comic books uh, which is interesting are you the artist the writer how are you involved and uh how did you find the indie uh, revival movement uh these are my questions uh take it away yeah yeah um all very very fabulous questions uh i mean where do i start i i mean okay so i was a performance artist in new york city mm -hmm for like a decade and uh, as lady alchemy that's what i did so i would dress up in fantastic costumes and stuff and uh, you said you have some of my performance stuff so we'll, we'll bring that up um maybe go through the instagram or whatever and you can see a lot of the costumes so that is what i encourage the artists maybe uh to look at uh, i think uh okay. Dina is very uh, familiar with a lot of my costuming so well, she'll that. probably do a really good job at that uh <laughs> And uh, a lot of headdresses, halos, and uh, very flowing fabrics. And uh, I'm all about beauty. And that's kind of what how I found this whole, you know, should right. I say well, complicated uh, or something? Uh, well, no, we, we you yeah. know, we call it the indie revival because it's, a, it's quite indie a big revival. umbrella. Uh, well, there yeah. are many groups. You do have the comic skate group. You got the team uh, comics group. There's many groups. So we just kind of indie revival right. We're just over here. Yeah. Try to um, stay I love afloat. It. I love it. Now, if you want to see uh, uh, Martina, what I'm looking at, uh, you can just white box my uh, uh, my hangout box, and, and then you can see what I'm showing. Uh, but I am over on your uh, Lady Alchemy page, not the comic. Uh, this is your uh, performance uh, page. And, this is, uh, yeah, the Lady Alchemy website. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. My performer website. Performer website. Now, this is a little bit of a Shahrazad going on. That's nice. Yeah, so I perform and do all these costuming and I make all the costumes myself and create um, pieces and everything. And um, I happen to be a, uh, a Republican um, and in the city, that's very odd. Um, I mean, my mom's from Croatia, no, no. so uh, I was raised really like conservative because Croatians are very nationalistic sure. catholic and sure. very old school european you know and mother's never really proud of you unless you're a doctor or a lawyer or something right. Yeah. Right. Right. and uh right. definitely got spanked with that with the belt you know that whole thing so i was raised really conservatively and so that's kind of how i grew up um but then you know i got into this performance art stuff instead of teaching math which is what i went to school for uh -huh. and um you know it's definitely a weird artsy vibe new york city and uh, all my friends were like drag queens and and all that stuff and the weird performing art scene but the thing that i noticed in the performing scene in new york was that most of them they loved the like you know we talk about this about um saying modern art isn't really accurate contemporary art is uh very much like puking on canvases uh in in the burlesque scene and in the performing art scene that i worked in they were really into like popping things out of their vagina or like sure. doing sexual acts on stage, Ew. a lot of fat girls, a lot of tattoos. It was yeah. just anything weird and freaky and strange or sexual. That's what they were really like all about. And mm -hmm. I considered my work kind of like conservative burlesque because it was what you see here. I would, I loved like religious aesthetics. I love beauty. I love like, you know, you know it's like going into a, a museum, going to like the Metropolitan Museum of Art, which is what I love in New York City and seeing ancient sculptures, you know, they oh, had okay. nudity, they had like tit out or something, but it wasn't sexual. It wasn't raunchy. There was nothing like, 
pornographic about um, the human body. It was something that God made, and it was something oh, to no. show, you know, the, how uh, amazing it humanity was, is and, and oh, how no, beautiful God created. It was the God worship of the body. It was the worship of the body. And right, I would just right. uh, warn you against uh, mentioning uh, spanking and uh, things popping out of vaginas because uh, Booster might well sweat himself to death. Um, uh, I'm already okay, I was to to yeah. say it was 18 plus plus plus, so I was like, I can say. Oh, you're good. Yeah, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, but these are very tasteful. Now, uh, I actually went to New York as a as a musician for quite a while, uh, and uh, I'm well aware of the New York scene. Uh, and uh, you know, one of the thing, one of the burlesque things I actually enjoyed, yeah. I thought was quite beautiful, were the fan dancers. I I like the fan dancing. So I thought that, that was, was actually how I started um yeah i love dancing and i got involved with that because so i have this like um i found out that i have this really rare blood type this was like 10 years ago i was like 24 or something and uh i found out i have this really rare blood type and that means when i get pregnant my body will physically attack the fetus uh, if if the if my the guy that if my guy uh, is has plus okay let me step back for a second everybody right. has a b or o blood type right, right. then there's a plus minus uh, a plus factor and a minus factor mm -hmm. and 85 percent of the world population has the plus factor that means they have a specific protein in their blood um, that genetically links them to the I don't know the recess mon they call it the recess uh, monkey. Uh, factor the recess factor and i'm missing this protein and that creates complications it's fine nowadays because nowadays you just have a shot my mom has six healthy kids they just give you a shot it's not a big deal you can have the kid but it, it made me go wait a minute what why would i need a shot wait what's going on in my blood i thought as far as darwin goes like i you know that's not good you know that's not survival of the fittest right mm -hmm. so i started researching and i found that in nature the only other time that same complications happen uh, with this blood is when animals crossbreed. And I was like, wait a minute, what? Are, are we different types of human beings uh, on this planet, like crossbreeding and no one's talking about this? Like, what is going, what am I? Like, wh wh what's, what's going on here? And so I started researching more and I found that like stories, I'm into alchemy and, and all that stuff, the esoteric things. And I found stories in like the old Testament and, uh, you know, about the Nephilim, the fallen angels. Sure. And how they procreated human race and created a whole other, like, bloodline. And so, uh, to me, in my reality, in my world, I was like, and they also brought knowledge of alchemy and magic and metallurgy and all this stuff. And so, to me, in the world that I created in my own fantasy, weird, artsy land was, I am ne a Nephilim, you know, like, my that's where my bloodline comes from. So that's part of the story of the comic, but I'm not there quite yet. So um, that's kind of how I took it in. And so my the Feather Fan Dance is was like one of my first performances that I've created. And I was, use the Feather Fans a lot because I created a Fallen Angel act. So oh, I, the fans cool. were my angel wings. Um, yeah, so I like that. And so I did it for like 10 years. Like I said, uh, they found out that I was a Republican that particularly was a fan of Trump and uh, everyone else in the community like freaked out because these are like the extreme of the extreme. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this concept sure, we are. of mm -hmm. like freaking out about the, the politics and the art world. And so they all freaked out and called me a Nazi and they campaigned get me blacklisted and fired from the theater. They got my agent to drop me. Like it just, they ruined my life and made my life a living hell. So I lost everything. Um, and it was really, really sad to me. Um, everything just fell apart with my career after being blacklisted and, and attacked that way. And so my friend who's an artist uh, in LA, he, he does a drawing and all that illustration. And uh, he was like, well, okay, before that too, uh, about like 2010, 11, uh, I was interested in maybe doing a comic book, but I was talking to a comic book pro and he was like, oh, you need at least like 10 grand. You need to like pay for like the artist and the, uh, you know, the, what, the colorist and there's this and there's that. And I was like, I don't have 10 grand to make a comic book. So this is not happening, you know? <laughs> and then, so when my artist, fast forward back to election time uh, in LA was like, hey, listen, there's this thing going on where, where like 
SJWs have taken over this whole con like DC and Marvel, and there's like this counter movement happening, um, and people are doing really well on Indiegogo and and doing all that, and it's like uh, let me draw, let me ma let's bring Lady Alchemy back to life because she died, <laughs> you know, like I stopped performing, they killed her, um, so it was really this opportunity for me to bring Lady Alchemy, this alter ego character back to life. At the same time, it was something I always wanted to do. My artist is fantastic. And uh, we all just kind of came together and the timing was right to, to do it. So that's awesome. how it started. <laughs> well, awesome. And it's a great looking project, by the way. Uh, it is a beautiful book. Uh, it's a very artistic book, uh, which is interesting. And I do want to get into some of the uh, information about that. But just, just to let you know, I am an RH negative myself, and I make babies no problem. Oh, wow. Uh, yes. And uh, nice. I'm also, I also have in a chapter in an upcoming scientific journal on RH negative, which is one of my specialties in uh, in the uh, anthropological world. Uh, so it's uh, it's interesting no to talk way. about that. No way. You have to send that to me. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, you it, have it, to send that to me. And it's definitely a, a part of the comic. That's cool. No, that is cool. And I, I get the Nephilim thing because I do enjoy all those uh, uh, ancient stuff and the um, and the fantasy that can come out of it. It's really cool, actually. Uh, but uh, nevertheless. Now um, he can talk about it. I know, right? But I'm because not going normally, to because you guys would yell Normally you talk about scholar thing. Everyone will scream, but now we have yeah. a beautiful woman here, and that everybody's like, "Okay, that is interesting because yeah, a see, beautiful woman talks see? about it." It's not fair. <laughs> no, it's true though. Every time I bring up anything <laughs> historical or educational, I get yelled at by the chat. Shut oh, up, history. sister. <laughs> <laughs> and with the, the history lessons now, Professor. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, that's what I write. Though. I write, I write <laughs> stuff for scientific I never journals. said I wasn't a hypocrite. No, we, you didn't. This is true. This is true. Uh, now, uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to start um, uh, looking, uh, uh, showing off the art for, uh, that's coming in from our artist here. And uh, I'm going to start over here with Siege. Uh, and Siege is starting to get some blue lines in, which is nice. Uh, but uh, while we do that, Martina, I want to talk to you a little bit about the project, uh, uh, the Lady Alchemy project. Project. Uh, now, tell us, um, uh, uh, are you the writer of the project? Yeah, so um, my artist in, uh, in L.A. has someone that is uh, does um, screenwriting for movies and, and all that stuff. I guess he's done some Hollywood things. So he says, we have someone that can definitely structure it in a proper storyline way because um oh i have a lot of like the story aspects that i have an input on mm -hmm. um but i am not a writer by any means and so you, you know having a really interesting story has to have like an arc it has to make sense you have to have the beginning the middle and end things have sure. to kind of interweave so that is like difficult for me so i definitely have someone helping uh with like properly writing and making it kind of make sense and putting it into uh, a script of sorts but um I'm kind of like the overseer of the project. And oh, I'm see. like, we need some Nephilim blood in there. You know, like, would you like to name the person? Yeah. Um, no, I can't name him okay. because he works in Hollywood. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, what about your artist? Uh, who did the, uh, that great work on, on that book? Yeah, he's a little bit anonymous as well, but he's known as Maz. Uh, he's been on my streams. Um, you know, I have an art stream on Tuesday, so he'll he'll come on. He used to draw live on stream as well and and do all that stuff. He's a huge fan of all of everyone in this community's stuff. He's really pumped about what's going on. So oh, yeah, his awesome. name's Maz. Well, it's unfortunate. He's not on Twitter or anything anymore. You know. <laughs> Well, it is unfortunate that we can't just uh, talk about people involved in a project because it's silly politics. Uh, it's a it's a sad thing, and of course, there are a lot of people uh, we know and the, that uh, take on uh, fake names and various things to keep their uh, and a minute, uh, you know, their uh, to keep themselves anonymous. Uh, and uh, particularly on some of the shows uh, we do, uh, there's a lot of people who would love to come on and talk to us, but they're afraid for their jobs as you have experienced. And uh, it's really a shame yeah. that politics gets in the way of good work. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's it's really a shame because uh, I mean, I never really cared uh, if I disagreed with someone and I can always appreciate their work for what it was. And that's what I thought would happen to me is just have the same respect back for my, my work and, and that would kind of is that's all people can can kind of judge me for 
uh, or give me respect for, but it doesn't work that way. They tend to want to just tear you down and make sure you're ruined in, in oh, yeah. the workforce. So that's my, my artist and my writer is the same thing. They, you know, it's, it's really not sometimes just not worth it. Um, it's really a long, long, hard fight to do, to really put yourself out there. So it's best to kind of, uh, I think it's important for us to make moves inside the scene. It's not always good to scream and shout as like, um, you know, an, an activist and, and get into all this trouble and distance yourself. Sometimes it's good to be a little quiet and work inside the field and then you can make an impact and a difference that way. So. Oh no, we've talked to a lot of people who are doing just that. Uh, it's actually yeah. uh, one of the things I've learned because uh, I've always been a comic book fan uh, as well as many other things. Uh, but uh, since I've been doing this show, I've learned that uh, that a lot of comic book artists are actually also storyboarders in Hollywood. Uh, I didn't know mm. this connection was going on, but it is. And we've talked, we've spoken to a many, many people who are involved in Hollywood projects, and they, uh, and many of them, uh, although we've speak, uh, spoken to them behind the scenes, they won't come on and talk to us live, even though we have no particular connection with anything political here on this yeah. show, simply yeah. because of the people who we have on as guests. And uh, it's it's disgusting, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, moving. unfortunately, that's the way it is. That's the way it is with uh, the writer, for sure. And uh, the artist, yeah, he does a lot of storyboarding, which is why this is a learning process for all of us, really, because this is my first comic, and I'm kind of behind the scenes doing the promoting, doing, you know, the getting out there, raising the funds, and then also handling some of the, the shipping and the back-end stuff and all the, uh, the, the details behind the scenes and the emails and the interacting. But, um, you know, the writer is, is a screenwriter and the artist, yeah, he does storyboarding. He does a lot of storyboards and uh, other kind of art, hired art projects. But this is for all three of us, the first time doing a comic book. And we've come into a little bit of struggles of like, wait a minute, this isn't a screen play. You know, we have to write this in a comic book form. Wait a minute, this isn't a storyboard. We have to draw this as a comic book. So... It's different. Well, they do seem to cross over quite well, actually. Uh, and uh, Claire, yeah. uh, or excuse me, Star, uh, just so you know, you are being white boxed. Um, uh, but um, uh, no, they do cross over uh, quite well, I think. And, uh, uh, you know, it's good to see that uh, so much of that is going on because we know people need to work. And, uh, and it's, it's nice that that opportunity exists. Uh, and, of course, the fact that the, the politics that come into it is unfortunate. Now, I do, ha I do have a question for you, though, if you don't mind. Uh, now, uh, you've been doing uh, what you do for quite a while. And uh, did, before the whole Trump thing uh, happened, did you have any trouble before that? I mean, because you've always been conservative. This is not a new thing. Uh, so did you have trouble before Trump? Or is this really just coming down to the Trump phenomenon? I think it's coming down to the Trump phenomenon. I mean, there was, I remember, not that, you know, Bush is that great. I know we all hate him. Neocon, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but, right? um, yeah. yeah, I mean... It is what it is. I've always kind of leaned right. I was into libertarianism when it was like on the Republican ticket, like Ron Paul. Yeah. But nowadays it's a little too convoluted to, you know, what is libertarianism? Basically just leftism right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, people like hated him really bad. And I just remember being like, ah, you know, people will get over it. And look at only a few years later they have. Um but it and everyone was saying racist and all that stuff, but they didn't really call like Bush supporters racist. It was just Bush's racist, right? right. And then right. and then Obama came in and I was not for Obama, but he won. So I kind of just like dipped out of politics and I kind of got into a little bit more fringe kind of Nephilim conspiracy kind of like there are both sides are terrible kind of place, but sure. leans conservative. Um, and I never really had any problems because I didn't really get too involved. And because when Bush, I mean, uh, Obama's second term came in, um, presidents are always two term. Like it generally is two term unless you're absolutely terrible. Like if you are absolutely horrendous and things just went horrible then maybe it's one term, but like for the most part, it's two terms. So I didn't really get involved. I was like, oh, it's, he's going to win again, whatever. Both sides suck. I don't really care. True. Uh, I knew that Hillary sucked and, you know, Benghazi. I remember all that. Um, but ultimately, I didn't really get involved. I didn't put my two cents in and no one really like 
freaked out about anything, even though like I was conservative, but I didn't really, you know, no really cared. My friends knew, my gay friends and all that stuff, all the drag queens, they knew and they would laugh. They would be like, oh, Martina, just the silly right winger, you know? And they thought it was like cute, like like I'm like this crazy uncle or something, you yeah. know, in the family. You gotta love her, you gotta love them, but a eh, little silly. But then when it became down to Trump, it was like really, really bad. It's like friends are like, yeah, I'm not friends with you anymore. Like, oh, I can't yeah. be seen with her. Like, you know, it got really bad. So it is an yeah, interesting like phenomena. It is, you know, and the funny thing is, is, I have not seen any president, including Obama, that is more supportive of the LGBTQ, whatever the letters are up to now, yeah. community. A A uh, I. Yeah, is that is that what it is now? Uh, but uh, mm -hmm. because I've never seen, uh, he supports them quite a bit, uh, and uh, he actually is the only one I've ever seen on stage waving a rainbow flag. But yet he's yeah. supposed to be this super anti-gay person. Really, I don't get it. Lies, lies. Yeah, it's yeah, weird. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just what they want to. For some reason, they always do this to Republicans. It's I mean, same thing with Palin. They. You talk about breaking the glass ceiling. How cool would it have been to have the first uh, vice president be a woman or something? But no, no, no. When it's her, when it's a Republican, oh, she's a dumb bimbo. She's an ex-beauty queen. What? How dumb. Look at how dumb she is. So it was like, talk about sexism, man. Talk about glass ceilings. It's just what they say to Republicans. And they up the ante every single time. I cannot imagine what the next Republican, if it's ever going to happen again, um, what they'll they'll say next time. Oh, no. Yeah, it's, it is interesting. And this is certainly the most political conversation we had today. I didn't expect this. I expected to have a lot of uh, uh, comments about breasts and uh, and uh, bottoms and stuff. But, um, you know, Booster's been quite, pretty quiet, as I expected. This is probably for the best, yeah. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, anyway, give, uh, Dina, you are being white box, just so you time. know. Uh, go ahead, Eric. Uh -huh. uh, that was Eric speaking oh, or Josh? Sorry. But now you're going to be quiet. All right. So you... I was giving time. No, I'm, I'm here. You had a short comment. No, no, okay. Uh, now, keep in mind, guys, that uh, we are up to 50 viewers in here, which we really appreciate. Uh, but we really would like to hit that 100 today. Uh, if you could do us a favor and hit the uh, share button and let your family and friends know so they come on and get in here, please support us for this today. We'd love to uh, love to see that happen. Uh, also, can. keep in mind that the uh, fan edition is not going anywhere, uh, which we've already mentioned several times. Uh, so don't worry about that. Uh, and, of Just course, uh, Just to make sure people know. Yeah, make sure people know. Uh, now, do keep in I'm mind, sure guys, it's... as well, as usual, with our Drone and Quarter uh, uh, Ultimate Edition now, uh, we do a draw along. And uh, we'd love to see you draw uh, Lady Alchemy. Uh, we showed it up uh, 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 several times. You can find it on the internet quite easily. And uh, definitely draw along with us and go over to uh, Twitter and put in hashtag DNQFE. Once again, that is hashtag DNQFE. And uh, let's see what you got. Uh, we always like to take a look at the, the end of the show. And uh, I'm expecting to see a lot of really great stuff today as usual. So please get involved with that. Uh, I do see Matt Weldon uh, uh, shifting and ninjing his way through the chat over there. So, sir, I expect something great. Uh, also, El Rodimus, if you're uh, hanging around there, I want to see something. And I know uh, we always have a few uh, anonymous secret people who are in our chat that rarely ever comment. <clears throat> you guys can draw along as well. Just because you're a pro doesn't mean you can't draw along. Right, Booster? Booster has nothing what to say. What is that supposed to mean, Chester? Oh, no. What do you mean by supposed to mean? What the hell is that supposed to mean, Chester? What, what, the 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 hell, what, what are you drinking today, Booster? I thought you if you drew he's not uh, drunk. Like energy drink. Yeah, see he he I they, thought that if you just, this is my natural state. He's always drunk. All right. What yeah, this we, is my we, natural energy. Talk. You can't handle me you can't handle me drunk. Uh, no, you're much funnier when you're drunk, actually. We prefer it. We wish you stay drunk twenty four seven, actually. Oh. Oh, well, you can piss off, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm moving down oh, no. here, and uh, we have Eric is now being white boxed. Uh, and, um, uh, yeah, no, I think this is a really cool uh, uh, character we're looking at here today. It's a beautiful uh, comic book. And it's interesting, too, uh, that uh, Martina is telling us that uh, it's the first time they ever did every comic book. Uh, it is quite artistic uh, looking book. Now, uh, has anybody here actually read the book? Or had it seen? Is it out? I guess that would be the first question. Is it? Has you? Has it been delivered? Oh no, yet? no, it's not. <clears throat> okay, all right. No, it's not finished yet. What we have finished so far is um, the posters. Uh, we have quite a few. There's two 
uh, versions of printed posters that have been sent out, uh, t-shirts, just two different kinds of t-shirts. Um, we have silkscreen posters, so that's like a custom, well, there's only 50 of them, uh, silkscreen, really, really beautiful piece of artwork in itself. Uh, posters that just got sent out to uh, my mom's house in New York, and I'm in the UK. So um, the, the printed posters and the shirts have been sent out, except in the UK, I have to send them out, and in Europe. Uh, but the book screen posters and the tarot cards and the book itself have to wait um, a little bit until I'm back in America so I can sign and send them out myself and, sure. and do all that stuff. So uh, I'm still waiting on my artists to finish things up. You artists are very... Flaky. Slow and lazy no, you, you go ahead and say it. They're flaky. <laughs> They're flaky as hell. I know. I've been dealing with yeah, them for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it depends. It depends, man. It doesn't depend. It's a universal comment. It's a stereotype. It's 100% true. No, it is. It is. No. No. 200% true. No. Applies to all artists. It does. Don't even deny. I will fight you. <laughs> no, Mortal V, uh, the moderator of oh, let's Moderators. Go, let's go, baby. Here. He's saying that uh, uh, this uh, this uh, project is still in demand, so you guys can go check that out. And I've noticed the uh, link has been dropped a couple times, so definitely go check out the project. It is quite beautiful. Uh, of course, I haven't been able to read it, but uh, just by looking at the sequentials on the page, it looks fine. I mean, you're saying that you guys have never done comic books before, but it looks correct. Uh, so that's uh, that's a good thing. Uh, you know. Uh, yeah, and, uh, I'm just hoping that people really enjoy it. Sorry, a little, little bit of a delay sometimes. No, that's right. um, Yeah, no, I just hope people really enjoy it. That's my main my main concern is, is you know, just people being like, okay, that was worth it. That was really good, and that'll make me really happy. So. Yeah, no, no. Uh, uh, we definitely want to see all projects as successful as possible, uh, particularly ones that look good, uh, and uh, your project certainly does. Uh, and uh, how many people are on your team? Uh, I know you can't name them, but uh, how many people were involved? Yeah, it's just the three of us. So, oh, all right. And that there includes like shipping items and stuff. I think next time, if we do, you know, like a, another book and the story continues on a little bit, um, I think we're, we're going to do what a lot of the other people did, which is uh, what's that shipping called? I don't know, maybe crypto fashion or something where they drop shipping, right? Where they, mm -hmm. you don't handle the shipping. Crypto fashion takes care of shirts. Because yeah. I'm fulfillment center. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're, we're mm -hmm. are you talking about the shirts or are you talking centers? about your comic itself there's quite a few different ones yeah the fulfillment ones like those when you know yeah because we're handling all of that oh okay cool all right all right all right sorry about yeah. the delay guys. Uh, that's all right to... don't worry about it um uh and uh Mets, cool. you are being uh, uh white box right now um, uh, yeah, so uh, uh, we interesting chat here. Uh, uh, nice to get to know you, Martina. Uh, but what I'd like to do is give an opportunity to uh, uh, the, the panel here, uh, the artist, as well as the chat. If you guys have any questions for Martina, uh, please put them in. And uh, please be respectful. I know how some of you guys are. Uh, but uh, <laughs> artist, go ahead. Anybody have any questions for Martina? Don't fall over each other. What was the weirdest shoot you ever had? Yeah. You didn't give us time to repair a question. <laughs> what was the weirdest shoot you ever had? Not lazy, doesn't it? Shoot. Okay. I thought you said something else. I was like, excuse me? Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, uh... Wouldn't be surprised uh... with this group. <laughs> But uh, shoot, uh, hmm, like photo shoot. I I would assume I, I used to work huh. in film. Yeah, I think he's yeah. uh, he's roaming uh, out. He's talking about photo wrong. shoots. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I've done a lot of really good stuff. It's usually been pretty professional. Um, just probably, I don't know. Yeah, everything's been pretty good. Just sometimes there's things that I find like cringy after a certain time. Like I've done a music video for someone. It's like I have no control over how it looks or the quality, you know, the quality control. Yeah. And I'm just like, Ooh, that was pretty cringy. It's about it. I mean, it's not weird. It's just sometimes I'm like, Ooh, not proud of that one. Oh, I see. It's uh, all right. 
Now, uh, Joe uh, uh, Joe Maroney here has a question from the chat. Uh, he says, uh, has Martina ever done a Dance of the Seven Veils in her act? Dance of the what? Who's that? The uh, uh, Salome. The Salome uh, bit with the, veil, the Seven Veils. Oh, I love Salome. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I've I've definitely researched that and was inspired by that early on, on like 2000, like 10 when I first started. Um, and uh, it was definitely an inspiration, but I never really completed a piece, a full piece about that. But yeah, it's, it was a huge inspiration in the beginning. I love that. Yeah. Oh, that's a great, uh, that's a great burlesque Never act, actually. Um, let's see here. Mortal V says... Yeah, that's great. Yeah, it is. Uh, Mortal V says... There's a really great dancer. There's a really great dancer from, like, uh, I don't know, like, Maude Allen or something from, like, maybe the early 1900s, maybe late 1800s, who who did a Salome act. And it was, yeah, it was, I'm, I'm inspired by definitely, like, the old classics and... And some of those older uh, burlesque dancers that just really did quality quality work didn't just run around like shaking their tits and ass and pulling things out of body parts and going ta da. Oh wow, <laughs> you know? that's like, more really modern. Uh, I do believe I, am, I, uh, am now. I do believe uh, Jean Harlow did a veil dance. Uh, I also think uh, Mae West did one. Uh, I also I can't remember her name, but the yeah. the lady who played the Lily on the Monsters, uh, she did a, a, a Salome, I believe, as well. Uh, but um, that I can remember off the top of my head. Yeah. These are a long time ago, but uh, they're well done. Uh, Mortal V says, I just want to know how many times Dina went notice me senpai to Martina as he runs away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... What? I don't know. I, lo I love Dina <laughs> so, so much. Very thankful. Uh, I mean... It's not hard for me to notice uh, if you just say nice things and you're just like, hey, <laughs> I drew a picture of you. I'm pretty responsive. So I'm like, thanks. Like, I'm really, really emotional and sensitive. So it just, it makes me, I don't know, just so thankful and grateful when someone's nice or they draw a picture of me. I'm like, wow, you sat around and took the time to to draw Lady Alchemy like that, it just, it means so much to me that um, I'll stick around. And then I got to uh, know her a little bit more and I'm like, this is really good quality people, so. That well, isn't the kind you of have seven artists in here right pictures. now drawing you. So uh, it's just, there you go. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Dina, I, just, I know. Just, 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 yeah, go ahead. Huh? Uh, Dina, that was Mortal Ooh. V that said that, so uh, you can get him later. And uh, do keep in mind, I of course am very biased toward uh, Dina because yeah. uh, uh, I love I love Asian ladies. Hi, Dina. Yeah, his wife is Japanese. Yeah, mm. yeah. And he used to date Asian woman. <laughs> I had quite a few actually. Yeah. Yeah. I was a terror in Taipei. Yeah, but uh, anyway. And he used to be I, a I'm very curious for now because clubs. you said that. Uh... I believe Martina said that out. the uh, lefty performers were absolute disasters, right? You know, the, <laughs> what is this, shooting things out of their vaginas and stuff? I'm just wondering, what, what is, like, the craziest performance from one of your fellow dancers that you witnessed? Oh, no. Get your own question. Yeah, oh, sure, no. sure. I mean, as Can far as... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're, we're like, 18 plus here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, uh, oh, yeah, I mean, as far as, like, weirdest shoots, though, I... I I can't really think of like, you know, a photo shoot or a video shoot that was really that weird. But as far as performances go, okay, I can go there. Um, I've seen live um, on performance. And to be to be fair, I'm going to tell you guys this is going to sound really crazy. But I actually don't even hate this person. This person has been so kind to me, even after everything, even after I explained everything of what's going on with me. They've been in contact with me and they've been very open minded. But this is an older a uh, trans person, I can't even tell what age, uh, just much older <laughs> and uh, still has a penis, but has like breast implants, very old -looking, and uh, does very strange acts. Uh, one of them, I, I call her a she. It's just, that's the, you know, like it's, it's a she, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say he, it, it, you know, it, it is trans, but it has a penis, but, um, that's just, it's kind of like a drag queen. Drag queens don't even want to be a woman. They're just 
dressing up like a clown and you go, Oh, Hey girl. And you call him a she. So it's she, um, <clears throat> will wear dress up as Anna Wintour. You guys know Anna Wintour, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, editor in chief of Vogue magazine and has that like wig on like that and glasses it's a vogue magazine and well and the song's called like man eater it's like she's a man eater and she'll like go up to the stage right with her like you know and be very like anna wintourish and the curtain opens and there's a toilet seat and then um uh, uh, i don't like where this is going for her and then get up on to like do it like get up on like on her legs on the toilet seat <laughs> and then just start like shitting yes like into the oh, like, oh shit, my like, gosh the asshole <laughs> coming out of it why shut up shut up shut um, up you can uh, do that standing <laughs> on the chair thing again anytime you like by and the then way. it just You're starts, like <laughs> and then and then like just start smearing the shit everywhere and oh, it's just like this whole like uh, oh, shit. Oh, man. yeah <laughs> yeah that's one of them i mean there's a lot i can just yeah. go down the list of, of that oh no they get so pretty high oh, so high like, yeah yeah no i uh i, I was uh while doing <laughs> yeah. my music career i was a bouncer for uh 12 years shopping? in uh, strip clubs and uh i've seen quite a bit uh, i was actually talking to the crew here back uh before we went live uh talking about a uh a, a dancer who went by the name love potion and she used bottles it was quite interesting mm. oh <laughs> yeah, oh, dear Lord. and I mean, like, there's a lot of that kind of stuff, and all like that particular artist um, right, was I'm meant to be shocking. Really yes, you are. Yeah. Continue. Go ahead. Tank? My computer. Oh. Yeah, no, Tank. You're 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 really robotic no, bad. You're freeze you're framed, actually. It's an old piece of shit. It is. It is. Yeah, but you shouldn't say bad things like that about yourself. Really, <laughs> being old is fine. It's not a problem. Always <laughs> great. Yeah. Well, you're, 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 you're afraid of being old. I'm not afraid of being old at all, dude. I'm 49 years old, and I'm a happy, happy, happy man. Yeah, I know. I've already like done more in 40 minutes than I have. And... Yeah, no, we couldn't make any of that out. Yeah, you just suck. You're a boomer. Just, just suck it up and take it. It's all right. Let me just chalk this we we need to do a GoFundMe for Tank. Just we do. We do. The camera, uh, the internet, everything. Yeah. <laughs> now, over here in the chat, we're getting a lot of comments uh, from uh, uh, Martina's <laughs> little story there. And uh, Jiminy Crick is saying, Mom, stop <laughs> listening. Oh, goodness, Jiminy. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, she knows what we're about by now. Your mom knows what we're about by now. <laughs> she does. She does. Uh, Turtle uh, Rabbit uh, has a question here. Uh, he says, I saw a shot of uh, 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 Marina Abronovic on one of the pages. Is yeah, she the main villain? Yeah. yeah, so if you see on the campaign, there's like a subway scene. Mm -hmm. And um, it, this was some of the artwork from before uh, we, 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 you know, to put the campaign out and before we really structured everything. Um, and we were in the works of, of creating story and doing everything but we knew that we wanted like the evil villain and i'll put out some like characters for you guys like as as updates that's what i, I plan on doing on october 15th my artist should be giving me like half the book of of art and i will like kind of put out some feelers and show everyone kind of a little bit more of the storyline and some of the characters involved but the main character is actually like a uh the main evil character is a female it's not marina Ambronovic. you'll see that in the posters uh going down to the subway mm -hmm. there's like an apple poster with like a snake around it you get it it's like apple and it's like sure. devil and the offering the snake you know uh, i mean the snake offering the apple and everything garden of eden and um yeah. there's marina and Bronovic. these demons start coming out of the posters it's kind of like they live so it's like oh cool there's yeah, it's very like they live, uh, and it's the main evil character is a corporate head of a mass media company like Condé Nast, you know. So it's like the Condé Nast type corporate uh, head. 
that's the evil character. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, so all right, a lot uh, of the stuff kind of parallels with. Yeah, sorry. Oh no, no, that's okay. Uh, and uh, I do hear a couple of you guys roboting in with comments, and uh, oh well, uh, it happens sometimes. Uh, but uh, I do want to catch up with the chat here real quick if I can. Uh, Joe says, uh, "Cool to hear. Uh, drawing a, a Salome a little for my draw along at home. Excellent, dude. And if you guys want to draw along, and we really hope you do, uh, definitely go over when you're finished with your art of uh, Lady Alchemy here. Uh, go over and uh, drop that onto Twitter at uh, hashtag DNQFE. Once again, that is hashtag DNQ." QFE. Uh, we might have to change that or not change it. I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll just be patient and see if um, if they get themselves back on our track over there. But uh, nevertheless, uh, Mortal V says, uh, "Don't hurt me, Dina," as he hides behind Booster. Okay. Um, <laughs> and uh, Anamas Alias is uh, uh, encouraging Dina to hurt Mortal V. Very nice. Uh, and Jiminy is once again apologizing to his mom some more. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> Joe says, uh, I never got the whole appeal of the John Waters approach in the gay community. Yeah, well, that, that's a long conversation you're opening up right there. Um, for sure. Uh, <laughs> I did a John Waters film uh, a while ago. Mm -hmm. Like three years ago. Did you? Did you like it? I uh, I should link. Man, he wrote about it. I mean, too. I didn't do it, you know, we can... Yeah, no, it, the very John Waters esque. I didn't like work with him or anything. Oh, I see, I see. But right. uh, I did have a friend who fuck. Wow, you guys are roboting hard today. A couple, of you. <sighs> that's tough. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, uh, uh, Mortal well, B says that. Hey, I got is... a serious question. Yeah, go ahead. What's alchemy? Yes. You're, you're oh, asking boy. what alchemy is. Uh -huh. uh, it is the old Define name for science. Like a, like the actual... I don't know. Martina said she was I into love, alchemy. I, I understand what alchemy is. I don't know what that means, though. Okay, Martina, go ahead and take it away. I, I, love, your dude. Yeah, I love your response to that. Like, what is alchemy? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's a precursor to science. It's before science existed. But alchemy is al- Alchemia. If you also notice, alchemy, chemistry, alchemy. So it's a precursor to chemistry, is you know, and and also just general sciences, natural sciences. Um, but alchemia uh, is um, the black earth. So the land of chem, black earth uh, from ancient Egypt. So uh, it has ancient Egyptian roots, and it's like uh, you know, Thoth, the book of Thoth, and like and all that stuff. Um, but Western alchemy is uh, also has like the inner and outer work. So there's the inner work, which is like Carl, Carl Jung, the psychological aspects of it and like perfecting thyself and enhancing yourself, uh, you know, pure, uh, purifying yourself like more and more and more and more to, you know, the point of like uh, this perfect being, you know, spiritually and, and getting to the real self, the real you, who you really are and, and being pure, but also the outer work, which is the chemistry uh, and the physical sciences. And together there is more of a connection because I think modern science really like has disconnected from the spiritual aspect, uh, yeah, except true. for like quantum physics. Quantum physics is starting to really understand that things have like a consciousness or when something's, uh, you know, that whole, uh, the double slit experiment, which is like if a tree falls into the forest is it, and anyone's there to, uh, and if anyone's yeah. there to witness it, does it make a sound? Because things, um, when they're being observed, act differently. And science, quantum physics is showing that. And, and so it's like, wait a minute, there's like weird stuff going on. And when you're there to observe it, when there's consciousness involved, um, it, it acts differently. Um, so I think we're getting there with the science, but alchemy really has like the two parts connected. Um, and I don't see modern science doing that. And I don't see psychology really doing that either. They're just two separate beings and together it's yeah. alchemy. 
No, that's true. And uh, oh, uh, I didn't alchemy, know what any of that meant. Uh, well, al Ooh. I'll make it simple for Sorry. you, but sure. uh, Alchemy, <laughs> actually, uh, the word itself is coming from uh, 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 chemia, which is the uh, uh, Greek pronunciation of uh, uh, of chem or chemet, uh, which is the name for uh, uh, in, in yeah. Egypt. We all say Egypt. Egypt is actually a Greek word. It's a Ptolemy word. It's not the actual name of the country or the culture of the past. Uh, but nevertheless, al meaning the. Uh, and later on with the Arabic uh, uh, peoples, uh, of course, the alchemy, as uh, uh, Martina had mentioned, uh, is actually coming out of, uh, uh, they kind of transliterated the word into uh, uh, their word, which which is uh, gue, I think. Uh, and what it basically means is mm. the art of pouring is what it comes right down to. Mm. Uh, but of course, chemistry does come out of it, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I love that you know about all this stuff. Oh, well. I love I, that you know about all this stuff, too. You're really into the alchemy and the Nephilim stuff. Like, oh, I, my God, this is so great. I'm so glad to meet you and be on here. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> and, uh, you're the only one. Look, just you're the all imposters. Never heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I ne definitely never heard How that How do you know? Before. I appreciated it. Yeah, well, I'm oh, glad to see oh, most yeah, of these people over awesome. here, they're Philistines. And that's just the world I have to live in, all right? <laughs> Uh, but uh, continuing <laughs> over here with the chat, uh, oh Booster God. is muting Better his mic. Do we have to be like? Yeah. Go ahead, Dina. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about scary stories, so to uh -huh. scare all the guys to death. Okay. Because uh, you're talking about, was it the Philistine? What Samson did to them? <laughs> No, a Philistine, uh, of course, you know, you're correct. Uh, there are people, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, we use the word Philistine to talk about uneducated people uh, who don't want to read or, you know, make oh. themselves smarter because they're morons. So you mean barbarians? You know, bar well, no, barbarian oh, simply like means uh, to babble. Uh, I can make myself more smarter anytime I like. You can. You can definitely more smarter yourself in any Chester moment. Chester considers artists yeah. to be Philistines. Uh, well, absolutely. <laughs> you're all Philistines. Mm -hmm. Flaky as uh, well. Yeah, they both start with an F. Or one case, but it's all right. It's similar enough. Uh, anyway, what was I saying over here? I'm trying to read the chat. You people are disturbing me. All right, and this is all stuff <laughs> about uh, her sh her shit story. So let's sk skip right past that because they enjoyed that <laughs> way too much. Uh, let's see, Zachary. Uh, <clears throat> Um, Immortal V wants to say Zachary is uh, it's looking real sexy you have and the art more? too. Ha 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 ha. Uh, Pablo Romero oh, art God. says, "Wow, forty nine. That is like a hundred to young people like me on Booster, dude. Pablo, you're an old man, dude. Shut up." Uh, <laughs> John Dillard says, "Chester, what's with all this thirsty work? And it seems like Zachary's art is degrading over the past few weeks." Oh. John, hey, be oh, nice. Good. Oh, good Dillard's here. Be That's what nice. we need. <laughs> That's exactly what we need. Uh, Oxford Tosspot yeah, is in. He's, he's one of my he's favorite a names. Why he are says, you "Hill Raven, Hill Boobs." I agree, hundred uh, percent. And it is Zach's art is looking really good. Uh, we're of course we're white boxing Dina right now, mm -hmm. who's absolutely killing it. And uh, <clears throat> it's interesting too, Dina. This piece is a. Uh, uh, it looks great, but uh, there's no room for the boobage in here. You're 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 going to disappoint no. your fans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because Adina's oh, usually really good with that. You make them like gazongas. You gazongas. Yes, that's a proper word. It's. Uh, I'm sure. glad your hey, English isn't, is improving. Isn't this kind of cheating Dina. done? Is isn't this cheating done? Is drawing this character like twenty times now? No, no, that's just practice. Uh, let's see. Is, <laughs> is, is uh, Rainbow <laughs> says is Dillard being a total tool again? <laughs> Dude, nope. nothing ever changes. Yes. Uh, I'm not. It's a minute. It's fine. Yeah. I always move my hand. Here we go. John time? Dillis says, oh, my God, Chester, why are you talking about ancient things again? Thank you. <sighs> my, my. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, when you get to draw Lady Alchemy, Pablo, uh, suggest his eyebrows are wagging. Uh, yeah, no, Pablo would absolutely kill Lady Alchemy. He's a great artist for female, uh, for sure. Uh, let's see. Rainbow says, uh, tools can be useful. Uh, Dillard, jury is out on that. Okay. Oscar to uh, Tosspot says, oh, no, Chester. Uh, waxing words origins. Well, dude, come on. Etymology is one. I am an anthropologist specializing in language. What do you want? Um, uh, well, it says Chester is from Jam so Japan, actually. Uh, what do you say? You're a linguistic, you're a linguistic professor? I'm a linguist, yeah. That's, that's my main thing, yeah. 
I believe the term is languager. No, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's not at all. Yeah, no, I'm I'm a, a linguist uh, mainly with time. ancient Mesopotamian languages and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, where am I going on here? Oh, bullet. Uh, Chester is from Japan, actually. Once again, thank you very much for reminding me. Uh, John Diller says, wait, dog, gone, second. I don't know what that means, John. Be more clear. Stop drinking so much. Uh, where is Chester from? I'm actually not from Japan. You guys do realize, I realize I'm a New Englander from Rhode Island, right? Uh, but um, whatever. They don't care. Uh, <laughs> here they go. Going on about Japan again. hold it against you, though. Yeah, I know. Uh, Chester's living in Japan. Boy, I didn't know that. Thank you, Oscar Fear, for jumping in and joining in the, the peanut gallery. Awesome. Uh, the Howl comic says Democrats. What, Chester, where did why don't that you come have from? a Japanese accent, though? I could have a Japanese accent anytime I want. Don't yeah. you judge me. Yeah. Hi. See, that's much better. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, yeah. I live here. I can get away with it. I'm allowed. Thank you. I have the Japanese accent privilege card. Just remember that. Uh, let's see. if. <laughs> uh, basically, everyone's selling their age now, as if that matters. Uh, the RQ says, yeah, he's 51, so he's the winner so far. He's the oldest until Gary comes in because oh. he's ancient. Uh, oh. And, and uh, <clears throat> let me see here. Who's the oldest on the chat? That's a, that's a good question. Probably probably Gary, dude. Yeah. Yeah. My grandfather fought the Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> Gary in here dude, so did mine. Uh oh. Yeah. 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 Uh, it is. You're absolute is. traitor. I know, right? Right. I couldn't resist, man. I have that yellow fever. It is what it is. Oh no, you have yellow fever. You I get do. a bit triggered uh, every time they say thank you. I don't uh, like people with yellow yellow fever. Uh, you d you said you love me, Dina. Your, hey, ah! I like Asian girls. Oh. <laughs> no, actually, I the don't funny... like people with Asian fever because yellow fever is annoying. It is, it is. I know. We'll call it Asian Why? fever. How's that? It make yeah. you feel better. Uh, but actually, when I went over to Taiwan, I was uh, on a music tour. I was working for a hard rock cafe, right? And uh, I was just hanging out and having fun. I had no intention of getting married, for goodness sake. And she trapped me. She trapped me. That's what happened. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes. She smelled your weakness. That's what happened. It is what happened. Who would you win? I believe the term is yeah. seduced. All the time with yes. these broads. Uh, no, I had I had a whole bunch of girl girlfriends on the hook over there, man. I was uh, I was doing really well. Uh, they liked the tall, handsome white men, and I was uh, I was being successful. And she just re 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 netted me in and just took complete control. And that was twenty some years later. Uh -huh. Jokes on you, Chester. They can't lure me in. That's no, they can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bruce, that has something to do with you being ultra hetero, though, I do believe. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, uh, Eric, That's you are being white boxed again. Show off. He's so good at getting a woman. Who, uh, Booster? Yeah, I know. He, he brags about it all the time. Uh, but um, uh, let me see here. Uh, do keep in mind, guys, uh, we are uh, doing a draw along as usual. Uh, so definitely please draw Lady Alchemy here. There's plenty of references on the internet. Of course, you can see with these guys the beautiful art they're doing here. Uh, and uh, we'd love to see that. So definitely go over to Twitter and put that in hashtag DNQFE. Once again, hashtag DNQFE. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Booster, that, huh? uh, where's your Ezra, Ezra Lady Alchemy? Your Ezra, Ezra Alchemy? Huh? What's going oh, on? Oh, no. Oh, I haven't been drawing. You haven't been drawing? Yeah, Booster. As I throw shoes Booster. at you. Booster. What you been doing, Booster? Like huh? I'm not drawing, then. Do we want to know? What do you guys want from me? They want do we your, want your to know horribly drawn and that's made art. That's what they want. I don't think we do. Stop, <laughs> stop oppressing me. This is a prison. <laughs> oh, poor Booster. Uh, but uh, someone definitely has long some long kind of radio in the background or TV going on. Oh, that's on, me. Sorry. Please, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Booster is very sensitive. On the he gets upset. I'm a, I'm a, I am a sensitive oh. boy. Don't, don't bully me, okay? I, I just want hit pads and love and... The hit little pads little kisses, and loving. You know? Ah, goodness gracious. It yeah. sounds like, uh, Booster, you'd be right at home with uh, 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 Martina's community back in New York. I think you'd love it. Especially the dude who gets up on a chair and shits into a toilet. That sounds like your crowd. Um, <laughs> I, will, I will neither confirm nor deny that. But yeah, tell them to call me. <laughs> tell them to call me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dear Lord. A uh, pixel trader has made an appearance. Well, maybe you wanna... can be friends with Ezra Miller. 
Yeah, maybe you could. <gasps> you could get lucky. Ooh, I, uh, I don't know. I don't want to bother Ezra. You know, he's a busy guy. He's very he talented. You know, he I is. don't want to. Uh, he has his. He has his goats like to take me. care of. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Got to remember that. Yeah. But I don't know, Martina. What do you think? Uh, Booster here is a very short man with uh, large hairy feet. He's mm -hmm. bald. He's only 27, yeah. but yeah. that's the way it goes. He mm -hmm. likes to oil himself liberally. And uh, he's yeah. he's told us many times that his penis is undersized. Uh, do you think I, his community that, like him? I never confirmed that. <laughs> oh, my God. That's all I have to say. Oh, my God. Hairy feet, huh? Yeah, he's pretty... Yeah. He's, he's a, a hobbit. hobbit. <laughs> he lives in New Zealand, even. It's it's just he's from New Zealand. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Pixel Trader is in here. He says, oh, Wait, yeah. "Why you gotta do me like that?" I was that, eating Chester. popcorn. Doing why you gotta do me like that, Chester? <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> I gotta do you like that? These are your words. I am quoting you. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Be careful what you say to Chester. He'll use it against you later. Yeah, no, Chester's got that kind of iron trap uh, memory. You don't want to do I'm that. I'm not against. I'm not against the oiling. I think that's really good for you. It keeps you young. Yeah, it does. It oh, does. Huh? Yeah. there you go. See, she, she gets me. <laughs> she gets you. Yeah, hear that, Chester? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no, I don't need. I no oil. oil myself liberally as well. There you go. Oiling is liberal. Oh, Just keep God. that in mind. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> anyway. Anyway, so, so uh, all right, guys. Well, uh, now uh, uh, we had a question earlier for our Martina. Uh, it was a good question too. Uh, anybody else have a question for her? <laughs> Eric? Ask a question. I asked about the alchemy. Sorry, no, no. Yeah, I'm I sorry, was... Chester. My wife literally came and scared the shit out of me. <laughs> 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 what you, what, oh, I haven't made it back over to you yet. What are you drawing over there? Uh, Metz is being uh, white box right now. Tank is having all kind of consternations, uh, trying to stay on this uh, on this uh, hangouts, dude. Uh, but uh, how about you, Zach? You got a question here from Martina? No, I, I'm sorry, Martina. I just I I, uh, I have to go tell my daughter good night. I'll be right back. Oh, awesome! Oh, Do that. That's how lovely. Nice okay. Do you have any kids? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cute. Because you were talking a little bit about the uh, difficulty Me? of pregnancy. Uh, have you actually uh, bitten that bullet and had a child? Um, Not yet. I need to do that in the next year because I'm, I'm at that age. <laughs> oh, well, at least I, it's planned. Either you got to do it or you oh, got to not do it. Oh, the baby babies. Yeah. I, I definitely want to do it. Yeah, I'm in my mm -hmm. 30s, so it's it's got to happen like in the next year. Oh, you should. Uh, kids are great. I, uh, I love children. Well, you know, um, there's several willing donors here. I... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm married. So oh, God. Yeah. He's, he's married. He Do I hear husband. what I thought I heard? Yeah. Is that but, um, one thing you guys hear from me children. this time? Uh, we we couldn't hear that, Mr. Robot. Uh, but uh, no, no, you should definitely have some kids. Um, uh, I, I tried my best to have a child on Halloween. I really, really tried. Uh, and uh, oh my, my god! No, I did. And my daughter was born a little early uh, on uh, uh, October fourth, so I missed that. And then my son was actually had the due date of Halloween. I mathed it out, baby. Uh, and he was supposed to be born on Halloween, but um, unfortunately, at that time, uh, my daughter was in for her two-year, uh, uh, you know, checkup, and they found she had leukemia, uh, which of course uh, put my uh, wife into extreme stress and uh, all that. And uh, she ended up going two weeks beyond due date. And they had to induce her, uh, so he was born on the 14th of November. Uh, so I tried really hard to get a, a, a homie baby, but I failed. I failed miserably. Where's that noise come from? I don't know. Somebody. Well, uh, someone need to get spanked. Oh, please. I told yeah. you about that, Dina. Booster's <laughs> I love, here. I love children as well. I actually yeah, have spanking. five siblings. Say it again. Um, I have... I love children myself. When I was a little girl, I used to be obsessed with like dolls, uh, you know, like baby dolls. I loved my baby dolls and I couldn't wait for, to have kids and a family. And I have five siblings and I'm like second oldest of five siblings. And oh, so wow. the younger ones, I taught them how to read. I, I was the one that cooked in the house. I was the one that was the caretaker, single mom. You know, my mom's a single mom. 
So I definitely did a lot of like raising of the kids. So then when I grew up, I like was like, I did that. And now I'm like, oh shit, now it's like time to have my own crap, you know? So I definitely have to do it and I love it. I'm so good with children. I love kids so much. Um, it's just, you know, I feel like there's just so much stuff that I want to do in life, but you really, you can still do it and have kids as well. It's really not that big of a deal. It's just, uh, you know, it's scary to grow something inside of you, like an alien. Ah, I'm scared. Oh but no, it's, it's wonderful. Exciting. It is good. Um, it go the first uh, the first trimester is a little rocky uh, with uh, morning sickness and such, yeah. uh, and it's not just in the morning, by the way. Uh, but um, uh, in general, uh, yeah. having kids is great. Uh, my wife and I have loved it. We got a lot of fathers and uh, mothers sitting in here, uh, and uh, you should you should definitely do it. Uh, kids are awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and also just in relation to your story too so i raised like my five siblings and the youngest one is 12 years younger than me and uh she she has leukemia as well but she's doing well yeah no uh it sucks it sucks hard uh but um it, yeah uh, you know uh but uh, we went through seven years of chemotherapy and now she's to the point where she only has to go once a year for a checkup for the rest of her life unfortunately but uh, uh we got through it uh, i'd say the only yeah. really tough part uh, uh you know other than just the stress of uh, having a two-year-old baby with leukemia uh was the fact that um uh, the doctors came to me and they said, okay, well, we have this, uh, uh, we have this uh, treatment plan uh, that is covered by your insurance, uh, and uh, it, uh, uh, it, it has a, a very, a very uh, high mortality rate. Uh, but we have this new treatment that is, has a much higher uh, mortality rate, I mean, a much lower mortality rate, uh, but uh, it isn't covered by insurance. Which one would you like? So, you know, obviously wow. there is no choice there. So I chose it and oh, I spent no. about $250,000 on uh, my daughter's uh, uh, leukemia. Worth every penny. Yeah, worth every penny. But I mean, it's yeah, a bit no, ridiculous. Totally. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the other thing too, uh, you know, in relation to politics is that, you know, we, we would get together as family. We're all pretty much conservative. And it was like, yeah, you know, having the, our baby uh, you know of, of all of us get leukemia it's like she's we're lucky in a way because her father's a different father than mine and uh she's it was in the pediatrics she was in um what is it called in new york city the, the hospital the uh oh my god how do i forget it i would like stay with her there <laughs> i like pretty much lived there in that hospital but it's uh the cancer center in in new york city uh she's in the pediatrics uh center so since she was uh so young uh she was able to get my father uh, be on my father's like health insurance and that like really helped a lot but as far as the rest of us that are older that don't have you know a father and stuff it's like if we get cancer what like what are we gonna do like we don't we can't afford it um yeah. so it was one of those things where it's like, yeah, okay, like I could understand why, you know, having, um, you know, socialized medicine is an interesting concept because it's like, oh, you know, it's one of those things. It's like, okay, I'm like yeah. understanding maybe like it is a really, really tough thing, you know, yeah. somebody getting cancer is suddenly like, oh shit, like how are we going to do this on our own? Um, yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's an interesting thing, but we're, we're lucky, you know, she's, She's doing well. Yeah. Well, you know, <clears throat> actually, the uh, medicine, uh, the medical system they have set up here in Japan is actually pretty good. Uh, I would think uh, America might want to take a look at it, actually. Uh, but, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, we were real lucky because we yeah. were in Honolulu at the Women's Children's uh, Hospital in Honolulu. And uh, that's one of the top uh, um, uh, cancer mm -hmm. wards in America, actually. So we were really fortunate. And that's why we got access to that um, that kind of experimental uh, treatment. Uh, that, and, of course, she survived because her, her mortality rate, uh, her survival rate was very low initially. So uh, we're, we're very lucky to be where we were. Uh, but uh, wow. let's uh, see here. Uh, Jiminy says, my cousins were born on Halloween and Christmas. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Thunder Arrow says, my wedding anniversary is Halloween. Well, that's easy to choose. Uh, the RQ says, oh, Zach says grilled cheese sandwich boobs. Oh, they're picking on Zach. I don't know. I think they look good, actually. Uh, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, John right. Dillard says, my wedding anniversary oh, is... Cool. Zach, your boobs are great, mate. Who cares? Uh, <clears throat> who's in the wind tunnel? Yeah, we what? get that sometimes. What's going on? 
Uh, I'm not repeating that bullet. I'm not doing it. Uh, and uh, they're now, and oh, now they're starting to get political over here. Oof, goodness gracious. Uh, yeah, no, I know where that's from, but I'm not going to touch that. I'm not touching that. No, no, bad, bad chat. Uh, Diller says, uh, that's probably true. Uh, but again, I cannot be bothered to hear her out. Oh, that's nice. Thank you very much. Uh, let me see if anybody has anything actually intelligible to say. Um <laughs> Oh, I see someone that was like saying that you're probably going to ignore this. And it's like, you know, they're asking about my comic being shipped and wasn't it from last year. Yeah. Like I said, uh, it waiting on my artist, you know, I've done everything I can. I've shipped everything. That's, you know, all the perks so far, um, except the tarot cards and uh, just waiting on the art. And that's really all I can do. And I'm on his ass and I'll keep you guys posted. That's all yeah. I can do. There you go. Hey, awesome. Not physically you drawing it. Like well, the RQ says he's been a fan of you since uh, he saw you on Gavin McInnes. That's cool. I like Gavin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was a few years yeah. ago. Yeah. Around the election. Yeah. Was he was he respectful? <laughs> he had uh, narrow no, shoulders. No, no man. Uh, yeah, well, that's true. Sorry, I'm Chinese. We we judge people by how they look like. So he have narrow shoulders. I was like, he talk tough, but he doesn't have the shoulder to back it up. That's, that's how I feel about You're it. You're right, Dina. You tell him. Oh uh, my God. I love <laughs> you tell him. Uh, Bill from Margot's Creation says, I've been a fan my of Chester since those Busby sex videos. Shoulders. Hey, now, I told you to take those off the internet. Knock it off. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, the RQ says, no, Martina do is doing great things for the arts. <laughs> now, now, oh, well, thank you. That's very nice, Bill. Uh, you guys are uh, being a bit raunchy today. What's going on? Um, let's see here. A cult film video <sighs> says, anybody in this chat ever read Curse of Brimstone? I'm on Midtown Comics uh, uh, now. Uh, I don't know. Anybody read that? Silence is deafening. What is that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. John dies at the end. John dies at the end. I actually like that movie. Uh, Anonymous Alias says, make burlesque great again. Uh, actually, New York has got quite a few <laughs> burlesque places, actually. Uh, Cult of Vinny, anybody in this Yeah, actually, it's really... Uh, that's really fun. Oh, no, it wasn't that, but I did... I was supposed to be a part of this show uh, that was created by this, like, older belly dancing lady, and she had a show called uh, Make America Sexy Again. <laughs> And she wanted me to be in it, but the venue saw that I was on the roster, and they said you need to replace Lady Alchemy, or the show's canceled. Oh wow! <laughs> that she's a, a that she's like misogynistic. She's an anti-feminist. She's racist, and something. Else. Oh, and she made fun of the burlesque community because she called them fat and ugly. Well, are well, they, they fat and ugly? ugly? I know. Yeah. yeah, and so the the older lady, the older <laughs> belly dancing lady, she was like, "What's that about?" And I was like, "Okay." So you know how like people really hate on men and I had to explain to her how like nasty feminists are and it's like, it's like retarded. And she goes, yeah, that's true. And then I was like, um, and you know, a lot of people in burlesque are fat and ugly. And she goes, yeah, I know, that's true. That's why I wanted you. And then, um, and then I was like, and I'm not racist. And she goes, I know. <laughs> so it was like, I don't know. She's like, I'm so sorry. I was like, I knew this would happen, it's fine. Yeah, that's. It's interesting how it touches everything in culture, everything, even burlesque, right? It's interesting. Uh, Adam does art. Says Chester <clears throat> just got up an hour ago and seeing a tone of drama. Not here, you're not. Uh, I read that Mike canceled D and Q. Uh, will this affect the fan edition? Absolutely not, dude. Why would it? Uh, we're gonna keep doing what we're doing, and uh, some people even say yeah, this show is thing. better than the pro edition. Some people say that. I don't know. I don't know who they Some are. Some people, not us. We'd yeah, never we say, that say that out no, loud publicly. No, no, never, never. Fan edition is superior. What, I wouldn't say that. Well, we got better holes here. Hashtag fan edition list. <laughs> what, Dina? What's up? Uh, our host is better here. We are more fun. Yes, the host okay. is but better here, and whatever. we are more fun. That is very, very true. <laughs> See, I told you Dina loved me. I told you. Uh, I mean, Chester ends everything with like actually, actually. Knowledge and scholars. Well, thank you very much. And uh, what about Booster? Hmm? Uh, Booster is yep, funny. He's he's like the Everybody. jester in the court. He is. He is. That is true. 
I'm such a clown. <laughs> oh, it's a very good contrast. A funny one. Nobody. People love you. <laughs> and now Booster is Some, funny. Uh, someday people will take me seriously for my insight and wit. <laughs> no. Wait. My knowledge and... <laughs> Never. Where's your Ezra <laughs> art? Today ain't today. I know things, Chester. <laughs> you know I two know things. things. Two things you know. Two. <laughs> Uh, you, I hope you are hey. drawing, by the way. Uh, let me see here. Oh, shit, really? Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, like Slick Jimmy little... Speaks is in here. He says, I'm oh. working on making comics sexy again. It's very, very, very hard work. Uh, thank you, Jimmy. Uh, uh, Slick, sorry. Uh, Jiminy would never say it like that. His mother's always watching. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, John, you're so mean, dude. You're just mean. Uh, John Diller says, Dina, we can't understand you. It's like you're speaking Chinese or something. God, he sucks, Dina. Oh. And we just have, we just have no life, so whatever. Just took on an egg roll and die somewhere, man. Ooh, she threw an Asian <laughs> insult. <at you>. Egg roll. <laughs> Me no Took on egg roll. Oh, goodness. Yeah, because oh. <laughs> I'm Chinese and he like to make fun of my accent. So oh, I'm already really nice. I can tell him to choke on a egg drop soup. You could, you could. You could. That would be a horrible thing to choke on. Is that even possible? It is, is possible. It possible to I'm choke also. on egg drop soup? I think so. People can choke on anything. You can drown. I choke on my own spit, dude. Yeah. Oh wow, <laughs> siege! Goodness oh, gracious! Chokes on dick. Uh, what? what? I, uh, Whoa! Oh! Whoa. 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 I heard there's a person in hell. Goodness gracious, picking on the poor I heard there's a person again. in the army who was eating rice. Maybe he never ate rice before. Uh -huh. He inhaled a rice inside of his lung. <laughs> so you have to go to a hospital. <laughs> oh my god. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to get it out. So I personally experienced when I sneeze and I just took a full bite of rice and it got to my nose so but I was lucky I was having a cold so I've been sneezing rice and I counted 87 pieces of rice oh wow crazy. she counted it excuse oh, me goodness well, gracious well. Dina <laughs> um <laughs> Now, keep in mind, guys. Hey, ladies, got... I like numbers. Okay, special. This is true. This is the Asian thing. Uh, do keep in mind, guys, uh, you have 15 <laughs> minutes left. And uh, we, uh, of oh course, looking God, forward to this great oh, art that's coming uh, coming there. along here. Zach is uh, bragging oh, how again. Much, how much time left, man? 50. Yeah. 50. Well, 50 yeah. minutes. Uh, okay. And, of course, oh, keep okay. in mind, guys, we hope that you in the about? chat <laughs> are drawing oh, along. Uh, go to uh, hashtag DNQFE. Once again, hashtag DNQFE. Uh, so uh, go ahead, guys. You seem to have something to say. Have at it. <clears throat> now see, it's time yeah. for silence. What? <laughs> that, see, that's that's the, that's what it is. It's always like that. You know, this is radio, right? You got to keep that in mind. This is a radio show. Uh, all right. I like Slick Jimmy's. Yeah, well, I, comment. Is choking on an egg roll no, is a Chinese. Ignores me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, uh, Slick Jimmy's got a great mm -hmm. project himself. Uh, of course, he has Little Girl Lethal, uh, and one of the yeah. best named characters oh, yeah. of all time, Sugar Lightspeed. That is a great name, dude. I love that name. And uh, that's a super adult sexy comic, too. Uh, and uh, yeah, definitely mm -hmm. go check that out, guys. I do believe it's still in demand, isn't it? I think it is. Dead air. Yeah, no, I'm I, I'm in charge over here, Slick. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to have any dead air. I'm just trying I to think there's demonstrate. A bit of, um, um, man. I, I think there's a bit of a delay or something. People keep talking at the same time. I don't know what's going on. It's a bit odd. Mm -hmm. No, I yeah, just think they get inspired at the same moment. So um. I'm trying to be nice and work. You are working, and it's looking quite beautiful, actually. I can't wait to get to see the inks, though. Uh, you got to be able to get uh, 50 minutes. Got to be enough for you to get those inks down, you think? Yep. All right. Well, there you go. There you go. Uh, now, uh, Dean, I do have to ask the question, though. Uh, which mm -hmm. do you prefer, the American egg roll or the spring roll? Spring roll. Uh, interesting. Because you have, you have sprouts in it. Yeah. It's crunchy. It is. It's supposed uh, to be spring rolls. Why do Americans put meat in everything? Well, when the Chinese came over and they started uh, trying to open their restaurants, awesome. uh, they weren't successful until they uh, changed the, the menu over to things that Americans liked. Uh, that's where we get chop suey from, <laughs> the egg roll, or various things like that. That's depressing. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. You know, I lived in China you know for a while, Dina. You know this. And uh, I much prefer American Chinese food. 
Yeah, really? I agree. I studied abroad in China in, in 06. And uh, yeah, I, I do like American Chinese food better. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like the, well, I guess because I live in Hong Kong, so it's different. Is it? Oh, yeah. It's different, yeah. Yeah. Um, I do you, like I really love soup noodles in New York stuff. City. Mm -hmm. I live in Hong Kong. That's where I grow up. Sure. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, no, I was in, if, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, um, you might, if you're from, uh, New England, but, um, I was in the like Poughkeepsie of China. <laughs> I see. Okay. I was in like a random industrial city that no one would ever want to go to, but I was only there cause there was a university there and it was like an exchange program type thing. But, um, yeah, no. Not a fan of yeah, food are not necessarily the... good in China. Yeah, no, Ooh, not, not, not in, necessarily in New York, at all. They still have those. Mm -hmm. uh, although, I miss those things. Yeah, well, no, there's some things. I know when I was in Hong Kong, um, uh, they had like a crab soup of some kind uh, that was really good, actually. I don't remember what it was called. It depends on what area. I was on the island. And Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah, and also, do you remember the the, the breads in Hong Kong? All the buns, that how good and fresh they are. You you, you mean the uh, baozi? Mm. Mm, not just baozi, you know, like, because oh Hong Kong God, the economy, because we have all these are uh, all these immigrants from Hong Kong. They moved to New York. Yeah. And then they open bakery in you know like Flushing or Manhattan. Uh, sure, sure. They will have like. Uh, meat inside of a bun and all these fun kind of things but it looks like a western one but inside there are like char siu or seafood mm -hmm. even curry yeah yeah it's kind of like the japanese one you got in yeah, japan i love the buns that's my favorite thing oh they are great uh when i was in taipei uh we used to uh <clears throat> i used to walk down the street going to a gig or something like that because the street food's awesome in uh, taipei and uh, i used to stop by this little place uh with this old lady with a big smile she always come walking up to me with uh, my bouts already in the bag she saw me coming and uh i would spend like 40 cents or something like that for a bouts a bouts i don't know what you call it in america uh what do americans call bouts it's like a steamed uh, bun. So my ear off, please. Yeah, bao buns. Yeah. Oh, bao buns. Bow. Okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> it was wonderful. Yeah, it was wonderful. Yeah. Um, and uh, let me see here. Um, that makes me hungry so now. Oh, those things are awesome, dude. Uh, but uh, the thing yeah. about the Chinese do do good bakery. They do. That's true. Uh, <laughs> Jay oh, Will really says Panda Express it. is the shit. Wow, dude. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, they got some great orange chicken. Well done. Well, they, they actually, the orange chicken isn't bad. Uh, John Diller says, Chester, why are you letting these women talk about food? Because food's awesome, John. Bite me. God. Uh, I, uh, Mystery <sighs> Rob been a says, life. Been a life. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed that Americans have invented its own creepy version of otherwise nice food, such as pizza, pizza injected with extra fat and cholesterol. Hey, now, don't you pick on cheese-filled uh, crust uh, pizza. That's awesomeness. That is one of the greatest inventions in the history of mankind. God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make people yeah. eat the so crust. That is Mystery thing. Rob, and that is my friend. Yeah. And he is... He's British. Uh -huh. He's from the UK, and so he's taking the piss out of us right oh. now. But um, I am fighting with him, and I'm saying, listen, I have seen more fat people in the UK. I don't, you know what? If anyone is to make fun of fat Americans, I don't think the U people in the UK can talk because uh -huh. they're like right up with us with fat people. It's a lot of fat people, and in fact, I have gained weight in the UK. I have never been this fat in America ever in my entire life so i see okay stand up let me judge you stand up. let's see it let's see the fatness really oh just a bit oh god oh. no no i you think you you're lying to us yeah no i just see no fatness you look just fine all right yeah mm -hmm. no no fatness yeah but, not at all. fine but yeah. yeah i mean i look fine but i've like i've gained weight like I've never wait, been wait. this heavy. Well, because <laughs> wait, yes. Like if you see pictures of me of my like photo shoots, it's like I look really skinny, curvy, but skinny, and now I'm just like, like it, like this. 
Well, well if you are really planning on having well. a baby the next year, this is a better size then. Because uh, a little bit of extra weight is good for having babies. Mm -hmm. uh, someone was saying Chester, Chester, Chester. Go ahead. Fair. What are you saying? Go ahead. We can't hear you. Speak up now. Don't be shy. I, I, I say, can you spell that? Wow, that sounded like Stephen Hawking. That was, that's, I'm, I'm terrified. He's supposed to be Is dead. Is he doing a bit? What's going can on? You spell fat? Can I spell, please spell fat? I don't know. I believe the young people spend it, spell Whoa, it P-H-A-T. No, no, uh, no, 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 Damn it, fine. <laughs> no more comedy for me then, you bastards. All right. That's yeah. it. That'd be funny. Yeah, oh no, that's, that's <laughs> brutal. <laughs> Oscar for Tosspot says, British cuisine was made on a dare. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> So sad. I actually, I was in Britain once, uh, and I went to, uh, I think it was Manchester, and uh, the other one was some kind of, uh, is there a place called Piccadilly Circus or something like that? Some circus thing. Oh, yeah. Thing. yeah. Uh -huh. Piccadilly and, Circus uh, is in London. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was, because uh, I was... I was playing with the uh, uh, Machine, which is a Pink Floyd tribute band, and we went over there and we met and played with the non-crazy members of Pink Floyd, and uh, that was a lot of fun. Mm. Uh, but I did eat a couple times. Where I had food brought to me in the green room, and uh, it was pretty bad. It, it was pretty bad. It was not good food. Uh, has I heard people <laughs> say British have really bad food. Yeah. Is it true? Uh, well, my experience wasn't good. Uh, you're over there now. Is th have things changed? Yeah. No, okay, so the pizza is absolutely terrible. There's a lot of bad food. For, to be honest, the good thing that they do, the good food, is up north we have uh, pies. So they have like um, like a cheese mm. and onion pie. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's so good. Mm. So it's oh, just wow. like uh, pastry. Oh. Now she's like, talking my language. Oh. Yes, she is, buddy. <laughs> um, uh -huh. no. But other than that, no, it's like they, they See, even I, have jelly I, peels. Just... It's like, what? Yeah, no, they, they, they had some weird stuff they brought us, that's for sure. See, now, the Americans seem to think that pie is only a dessert thing. It is a yeah, dessert just, thing. Mm, it's just chocolate. Chocolate. It, it is a dessert thing. It's only an apple, a cherry in it. That's, that's what you saw. I, I like shepherd here. pie. It's, it's yummy. Thing. That's not a pie. It's a casserole. <laughs> it's not a pie. It's a casserole. I like farmer's daughter pie, too, but it's a casserole. Casserole. What, about, what about minced beef? What about minced beef and mushroom? It's really good. I, it probably what is. is it? And you cut it, it open and then the minced beef and the mushroom just flow down slowly. Like okay. someone's brain matter. Oh, oh yeah. What, what? Had... <laughs> fish and chips. Yeah. Well, fish and chips. Yeah. Oh, my yeah, God. Fish oh, and chips. I've, I've never had that. Is that any good? Yeah, fish and it's chips like are great. Yeah, I actually really like fish. Boys. So can you imagine but, like yeah. eating fish and fries, but at the same time? Well, I don't like fish. Oh yeah, I don't like fish, but <laughs> tomato sauce. <laughs> mm. Why not? But it's fried. You can fish. eat anything fried yeah. together. I don't yeah. like yeah. fish, Dina. I, I like don't fish. I just like them raw better. Uh, let's see here. D Dillard has more to say. Why do I read what John has to say? I, I, you know, okay. I, I won't. Why do you read what John I, Dillard has to say? I shan't. <laughs> I shan't do it anymore. He just like to trash us. He's just here to bully us. He is a bully. That is true. He's our fa He's one of our. He's our second favorite oh, troll. Okay. Our favorite troll, of course, is Josh. Yeah. He shall always be number one. Mm -hmm. Girl. Where is Josh now? Oh, he's. I'm right here. No, not you, the other one. Uh, I don't know. He's probably on his 51st sock bucket uh, puppet account, but hey, it'll be all right. What about Joshua Hughes? Not you, Mitz. Stop. Hey, Somali oh, uh, Olki is in here. Dude, how did you make it in here, Somali? Uh, he said Chester doesn't like fish. Disappointing. Oh. Now, Somali, of course, is our friend from Finland, and uh, he gives all kind of great comments and uh, interaction on the uh, Fanspeak page of Facebook. And uh, we, I only usually see him on the uh, uh, Sunday morning show that I do on uh, Indycom TV. Uh, and of course, that is Coffee Hockey Habara. Definitely go check that out. We have great guests. We have Mitch Brightweiser this uh, week as well. Uh, but uh, he usually 
mm-hmm. shows up there, but uh, he, his t- his schedule is kind of this very late uh, for you, dude. Uh, glad you're here, though, man, for sure. Uh, but uh, if you guys haven't checked out Indicom TV, I suggest you do so. That has a lot of industry people that are involved with that, and uh, I'm having a lot of fun over there for sure. Uh, you only eat British food because you have to survive, <laughs> Matthew. A lot of people are having opinions about <laughs> British food. Oh, well. But they got Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. There's yeah. some Brits in here. There's, we got some Brits in here, and so they're being very defensive oh, of the no. British food. Awesome. And uh, <laughs> and so I, I just told them. I don't know. And so they're shitting on American food, and I said, and I said, go eat beans on toast. And then and then Jack's like, beans on toast is good. <laughs> they literally eat beans on toast, like canned beans. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah the British are, are a sad, sad, sad lot of people. Not, it's unfortunate. It's that weird thing, son. Is it only the Aussie do it or the British yeah. do it too? What was that thing called Vet Vegemite? That really gross brown oh, thing that's spread really, on yeah, the yeah, toast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Mar- I, uh, Mar- I, 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 I disavow, Mar- and on behalf of the oceanic side of things, uh, I apologize oh. for Vegemite. Uh, yeah, okay, thank you very yeah. much. And Freaky Marmite looking. as well. I mean, yes. Yeah, I, I definitely apologize. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's all it's all disgusting. I yeah. I apologize truly. Did, did your mommy make you eat it when you were young? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, that was so <laughs> oh goodness gracious. Um uh let's see, uh Matthew says, uh Busby, if given a choice, no one would pick British food. Well, I have to agree. You know what though? Uh, uh the British are nowhere near as bad as the Canadians though. So there, there's a, a good uh, check plus uh, for the British. They're not as bad hey, as Canadians. Hey, yeah. yeah, write that down. You're being a real fuck boy right now. I can't help that the, the Canadians suck, dude. I can't help it. It's not my fault. It's your fault. You know what? I'm off to go play hockey. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how 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 are, you, how are you guys doing with fighting the Russians? I heard the Russians are doing Georgia. very well in hockey. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know. I was actually just doing an impression. It, is that what that was? I thought that was Stephen Hawking back again. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Uh... You leave my uncle alone. <laughs> uh, okay. <that's> right. <laughs> <laughs> Do keep in guys uh, keep in mind, guys. You get about thirty minutes, uh, thirty four minutes uh, to be exact left. And uh, also, uh, all you people who are drawing along, which we know many of you are, uh, please go over to Twitter and put that in hashtag DNQFE. Once again, hashtag DNQFE. Uh, we'll look at those uh, after we drop the straw poll. Now, do keep it in mind uh, at the end of the show, uh, we will show each piece of art very clearly and uh, let you look at it. We'll also have uh, 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 Martina here give her opinion on the art as we go through that. Uh, but after we're done with that, we're going to drop that straw poll, uh, and we're going to take a look at the drawing along. Now, keep in mind that we don't have a prize this week uh, directly. We usually do. I uh, get to go over the pro edition, and uh, but uh, we're still going to do the vote because uh, it's fun, uh, and having the uh, community interaction yeah. is uh, it's just fun. Uh, so we're not going to stop it, uh, even though we don't have any show for to send them over to. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, we will do that after. Uh, now, of course, I've been uh, white boxing on everyone right along here. Uh, but for the last 30 minutes, I'm going to take the white box off and just let people be seen as they speak. Uh, so that means all you shy folk in here, uh, you need to start speaking up if you want people to see your art. Uh, and, uh, you know. Uh, it is what it is. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I wish you luck. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's not. Uh-huh, that's uh-huh. cheating. Uh-huh, Jack, uh-huh, stop. That, that is cheating. Who is Hubba Hubba over there? Hubba Hubba is me. Ha 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 is Zachary. Uh, so you know. <laughs> what what does Hubba Hubba even mean? I heard a lot of people make that noise. It means sexy. You think something is sexy, Dina? Oh, you just gosh. you just said you just told the whole world that you think I'm sexy, and I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's, That's depressing. <laughs> what? It is not depressing. It's the best thing we've said on the show oh. all all year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, all right. okay. uh, oh. what was that, mm-hmm. Mr. Robot? Go ahead and do that again. Mm-hmm. It makes me want to cry. Mm-hmm. It makes me so sad in my bed. <laughs> that is really impressive. How do you do that? He does that really well, actually. That's need- funny. That's her. We yes, need, that's yeah. It's scary. We need, we need, we need our, our, our robots our gonna rise up again. Here, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> we need we need our our our, our halfling bard. We're not going to have right no now. corny tips up in here at all. I I absolutely refuse. We're not going to have any uh, diseased members. All right, you just keep that to yourself. Wrong place. Hey, dude, that was beautiful. So. <laughs> You have to admit that I was have to. I do. It was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And your Bunk piece looks really good Tuesdays. today, Zach. Who was that? That's the uh, GOP gamer. He's part oh, of the. Uh, I didn't know who that was the other night. Yeah, he's part of uh, Crypto's project there, Megawatt. Uh, that uh, mm -hmm. new comic is on the Indiegogo right now. Hey, I'm done. <laughs> or Kickstarter. I think it's on Kickstarter. Right? You're done. Yeah. You're, yeah. Oh, fine. You're done. done. Okay. I, Horror I is gonna be Okay. All right, guys. Here we go. We're going to go take a look at what Booster has been yeah, drawing. Yeah, so now, um, I... Uh, go ahead. This may absolutely <laughs> shock you, but I actually found an image of Ezra Miller in Burlesque, so I decided to recapture it oh in my, my unique art <laughs> <and> style. <laughs> so um, this oh, is uh, Ezra in Burlesque. Uh -huh. I do and apologize, Martin. Why do you have such an obsession with Ezra? It, it is an obsession. Don't, yeah, don't, is. don't judge me. Don't. What is the obsession? Don't make this with Mick. He's just <laughs> so wacky and it strange. I, don't, don't judge me. Why does his legs not have hair? We know how hairy he is. Know. Where's the chest hmm? hair? Where's the leg hair? I see the bulge. <laughs> Shaved them for the fish nets. Uh, did he? Uh, I see. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see the reference material. Come on, let's yeah. show us the reference material. Uh, stuff. Huh? Let's the, see how the accurate you are. Let's see your reference material. Come on. All right. <clears throat> All righty. Here we go. Yep. This is the. Uh, this is my reference that I found. Crap. That is not right, oh, dude. Holy crap. Yeah, it's pretty scary, huh? <laughs> well, no, because I, I figured I Ezra would be prettier in drag. I just actually. lost 13 at Sandy. Yeah. yeah, you did. Yeah, he somehow looks even more hideous. Uh, he does, which oh, I is weird. A slut tattoo. No, nah, that shocks me actually, because I figured he'd be actually attractive in uh, in drag, but he's not. Oh well. No, no, not all. That's uh, that's terrifying, oh. isn't it? <laughs> yeah, he does it. He can't pull it off. Oh man, oh, well. it's just depressing. <laughs> it's depressing. Who is uh, that? Yeah. Ezra Miller. That's Ezra that, Miller. Yeah. The guy who played Flash in the Justice Flash. League Flash. and. Yeah. Very famous for being a queer, and he's proud oh. of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's our mascot, Martina. He's our mascot. He is. Is the official mascot of the show? Oh, wasn't he in like Playboy and stuff, dressing in like heels and all that? Oh, probably. Maybe that was oh yeah. Else. Oh yeah. I've seen all that. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like him. Uh, yeah. No, we love Ezra. He's, Ezra. Just he, so he's strange, so strange, uh, but I'm fascinated by him. No, he's interesting. He is interesting. Yeah, fella. that's him. Yeah, he's yeah. a boy. Yeah. He, oh, oh, Martina's looking at porn. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's Playboy. Come on. Playboy, isn't that they used to be have class? Yeah, Playboy. No, no, no. It's okay. Our guest is looking at porn. Yeah, you guys porn. have to look up Ezra Miller and Playboy. It's. All right. It's let's do this. No, let's not. It what is, are you doing? Isn't it? <laughs> not, do you under, do, but do you understand me now? Do you understand? <laughs> no. I am going to take a I mean, moment while uh, Booster is looking no one... for his pornography uh, to come over and show Tank <laughs> Barrett because his camera has frozen, at least on the image, uh, so we can see it here temporarily. And uh, unfortunately, Tank mm -hmm. is having all manner of consternation today, but uh, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, but uh, of course, as usual, Tank's uh, art is absolutely stellar, dude. Uh, that is a killer piece there, Tank. Really, really nice. Uh, we got some really good pieces today. I'm kind of uh, interesting how it's going to work out, actually, in the poll. Uh, I think Zach's piece lo looks really good. They all look great. Uh, Siege is kicking it on this side as well. But I, I have to tell you guys, Dina is going very unsexual, which is weird for her. Uh, and it's yeah. she's killing it, dude. Dina's piece point? is really badass. I want to do this piece for a while. Does Martina have a photo shoot long time ago that she huh. dressed like a forest goddess? And I want to do a Dryad Queen design with that one for a long time. Go on. Go on. Oh, I see. Uh, but now this really looks good, good Dina. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> 
Oh, goodness. Uh, but uh, anyway, so uh, we are coming toward the end of the show. Uh, we have ourselves about uh, 25 minutes left. Uh, so, uh, Martina, you've been we've been here talking about all kind of things, talking about your project, talking about your life. Uh, so what do you think? Have you enjoyed yourself today? Yeah, it was really great. It's, it's nice to have... Uh... All these amazing people drawing Lady Alchemy I mean, is just so flattering and amazing. She's definitely coming back to life. But um, it's also really nice to be able to talk about alchemy and art and Nephilim blood. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's really you know, cool. I love uh, it. Thanks for having me, guys. Well, the Nephilim thing is kind of interesting, uh, actually, uh, because, and I'm go I am going to talk a little bit of anthropology so you guys can all, you know, just shut up. Uh, oh, but, um, no, yeah, no, uh, hush. All right. I control okay. things. I can eject <laughs> people. Just remember that. Uh, but, um, uh, no, okay. the uh, actually interesting thing is um, uh, with most of the racial groups on Earth, uh, we actually know all the different various pieces of their genome. Right where they're coming from, what they're made up of, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Uh, the actual uh, uh, northern Caucasians, not no Caucasians in general. The, what I guess we could call them Celt. It's not mm -hmm. really accurate, but uh, uh, the Celtic people, uh, uh, they actually have a missing piece. There's a piece of the Celtic's uh, 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 genome that we don't know. It's literally a missing piece. Uh, we have the Desinovans right. in Asia. We have the, uh, of course, uh, Neanderthals. We have the Cro-Manians. We have the Homo erectus, etc., 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 and all the little divergence as well. Uh, but uh, there is a piece <laughs> of the Celtic erectus. genome we have no clue what it is. It's a missing link, as it were, uh, to the Celtic people's <laughs> uh, bloodline. Uh, and, of course, this has wow, brought up look conversations. look how mysterious I am, you guys. See, Mysteri uh, uh, Siege is mysterious. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, the also we do see the Rh negative, which you talked about here, uh, in throughout the human population. Uh, but of course, it's it's the the density of Rh negative is highest uh, in, amongst in uh, Celtic Basque. peoples. Say that. Oh, again. really? I thought it was in the ba Basque clan. Oh well, I they thought are, it was in the the Basque. Well, they Basque. are Celtics. Um, uh, they are Celtic type. We oh. also have interesting <clears throat> on an island off the uh, the uh, West African coast. There's another very high population of them as well. Uh, but they have been there for a long time. But they're actually Celts that had traveled down and uh, living in an off of the, off of Africa. But they're Celtic people. Um, and oh, uh, um, yeah, I think I know what they're called. Uh, oh, it's just it's just um. Okay. Anyway, go ahead. I'll, okay, I'll I think hope of this it later. Is a really good troll. Uh, it might be. Uh, it's not at all. Uh, but uh, it is really interesting, the whole Nephilim connection, because people have been making this connection for quite a while, actually, I, since since the 70s, mm -hmm. I'd say. Uh, and, uh, uh, of course, we do know, uh, all of you who have read any kind of biblical text or extra biblical text, uh, that the Nephilim are simply uh, the half-breed uh, uh, mm -hmm. of the uh, fallen angels, of course, or the Anunnaki. Yeah, or the, the sons the of... Ones. Yeah, the Anunnaki, yeah. The yeah, sons yeah. of God and the daughters of man. That's right. That's right. And uh, most of the references uh, uh, for them in various cultures comes down to the bright ones, the shining ones, the golden ones, the ones of the sun, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Anunnaki, of course, become very mainstream after Zachary Sitch's book mm -hmm. came out in the 70s. Uh, but uh, it is an interesting connection. Now, the arch negative aspect of it is peculiar uh, because um, uh, they're rare. It's a smaller part of the population, and some of the RH negatives are extremely difficult situations. Uh, for instance, I'm an, I am an O negative, uh, which is very interesting because I can give my blood to every human on this planet. Universe. Right? Yep. I'm a universal donor, but yet I can't get the blood myself. I actually sat in a, in a New York hospital uh, on a gurney for many, many, many hours uh, waiting for blood to be flown in from frickin' Boston. You would think New York City would have a supply of O negative as big as it is, but wow. the only place they could find it was Boston, and they had to chopper that thing in for me. Uh, so it's, wow. uh, yeah, it, it sucks. <laughs> it does suck. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anthropology done. Being the descendants of the giants. Uh, possibly. Yeah, you oh. never know. It's mysterious. Now, you, you know, know uh, Martina, we actually have a show on the uh, Fanspeak here. Uh, on Sundays, we have TFT, which is Tinfall Talk, and we talk about these kind of things in depth. It's the place that they allow me to speak oh, about cool. history and science stuff. And uh, this weekend, actually, we're talking we about the hollow... We have to give one show. It's my one show, yes. Or else uh, it won't shut up during the other shows. This is true. This is true. So you get it out of his damn system. <laughs> That's true. Uh, but this, uh, this Sunday, we are talking about the hollow earth, guys, and uh, we'd love to come in. And do keep in mind, 
This is Fan Speak. We want to hear from you. So if you guys are interested in being at any of the shows we're doing, definitely go down below, check out my Twitter, contact me, and I will get you on the show. Uh, if you know a lot about the Hollow Earth or are interested in it, we'd love to have you on the show this Sunday, of course. Uh, and uh, all we do is put everybody creates their own little presentation and we just talk about it. We have fun. It's a lot of fun. It's not serious. It's just yeah. for fun. Uh, also, keep in mind that... Um, <clears throat> Uh, you definitely, if you haven't already, please hit the sub button and like, uh, and uh, we do appreciate that. We are growing uh, consistently, and we're very happy about that. Uh, also, uh, last the, uh, not the last notice, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have been drawing along, and you will go ahead and put your uh, art up on hashtag DNQFE. Once again, hashtag DNQFE on the Twitter. Uh, so thank you all very much. Uh, and uh, yeah, now... Um, uh, I do have to ask one question, if you don't mind. <clears throat> Siege, uh, could you back that art up a little bit so we can see it? Because we've been seeing little pieces as you're working on it, but we haven't seen the oh, whole sorry. thing. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Ooh, Siege is bringing it again. You know, oh my God. when Stop you're it. on here and you Stop do it. art, Siege, Stop your, your characters it. are so fierce. You really capture I'm just going to go to the bathroom real quick. Oh, no problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Siege, why aren't you on here more often? Can you say, yay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. It's a nice piece. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, I'm not going to look at boosters again. You can't pay me enough. Uh, <laughs> Star here has got a very nice, uh, a nice looking piece Don't as well. Off. Yeah. Uh, Dina, oh boy, I hope you get this uh, ink, Dina. It's a gorgeous piece. Dina, we actually have a show on. All right, someone, uh, Tank. Tank, Tank, you got to uh, shut your YouTube off because uh, I'm hearing myself again, and it's disturbing. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Eric has uh, – actually, it's a nice piece. It uh, has a very Native American feel to it. Interesting. Yeah. It's uh, us. Pocahontas. Yeah. Eric uh, Pocahontas. It's, 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 okay. I learned Pocahontas. that last night. Yeah. Uh, of hey, course, well. uh, Josh, he's got himself yep. a nice little uh, bit of magic going on here. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, pasties, pasties in the house. Uh, we have Tank's piece, which we can't really hear from him very well, but uh, it is a nice looking piece. And of course, we have Zach as well. And I actually like that, Zach. You guys are kind of picking on it. I think it's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Zach does great work. I think we're having a lot of beautiful pieces tonight. I think you're pretty beautiful. Well, thank you. Thank you. I don't swing oh, that way. Booster does. Beautiful. Wow. Booster does. Honestly, I'm so out of practice today. I've been like sick with a cold yeah. and pregnant, and it's like mm -hmm. all the things that were. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations oh, on the pregnant. That's awesome. Did you go through that? No, actually, that's the weird thing. I've never thrown up with this pregnancy ever. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, you're lucky. Oh, that's. Uh, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah. Um, well, I just was, noticed. I got that I was it? pregnant mm -hmm. because um, sometimes in some women, some women just throw up no matter what. Yeah. But um, occasionally, um, if you don't throw up, it means that there's a lot of testosterone in your system. Yeah. Because it's developing a oh, boy. No. And I was right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well. So is that possible that I'm having a boy? That's why I don't throw up at all. Because last time I have my I, my little girl was throwing up since day one I was pregnant until the day I gave birth to her. Yeah, my wife well, was I the same. She had morning sickness the whole time. Yeah. Wait, are you pregnant? Oh, uh, yeah. We I'm are both pregnant. pregnant. Yeah, Dean is pregnant too, and it's not my fault. Oh my don't God. blame me. Tell I me. had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Dana, oh. Yeah, that's why we keep encouraging you to get a baby too. This little thing is so oh, cute. You guys are a -holes. And you love kids. Martina's right there. What do you mean? And, um, so she's crazy, boy. Actually, uh, Martina, I do have a thing if you're trying to get pregnant. Um, check your uh, vitamin D yeah. levels. Um, because what happened with me was um, my... <laughs> I'm not that kind, you guys. The actual <laughs> vitamin. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, um, I'm from the Northwest, the show, so there's no sun here. Do it, old man. Actually, um, <laughs> if you don't have enough vitamin D, you don't, um, your hormones don't work right. So, um, oh my so, God, oh. I don't go in the sun at all. Yeah, so I would recommend just taking oh. like, like over the counter vitamin D, and um, yeah. it really helps actually. Mm. And I got pregnant, and I was trying for like three years. Thanks. Yeah, I didn't. Oh wow! And I'm like thirty-one. Yeah, no, I mean we haven't been trying at all. We're 
we're we're hoping to wait till we get back to America to try. So we're not even trying right now, but that's a good it's a good pointer because I didn't know that. And uh, I definitely I'm like a vampire. I don't go in the sun. It's like <laughs> no, well, no sun at on at me. Least um, Twenty but minutes. I do hear that a day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, twenty minutes. Yeah, do keep Outside in mind screen. that uh, the, uh, the, yeah. the white peoples don't actually need sun because we make our own uh, vitamin D. But if you are pregnant, it does <clears> actually <throat> help to have more in your system. So it's a very, very oh, good okay. uh, point there, uh, Siege. Or or it wasn't Siege. I that think was, mushroom uh, is a star. star. <laughs> that was star. Yeah. That's that's star. star. I'm not pregnant. You're not? So well, you. maybe you should get pregnant. <laughs> it sounds like a friend. Isn't that shit just young? <laughs> She's very young, right? Yeah, yeah, all the cool kids are doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well, I'm not cool. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, CJ is pretty young. Birthday, uh, how, how old are you, CJ? Really happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm turning 26. Yeah, see, see, any woman that's under 30 will happily, happily tell you her age. When they get over 30, they refuse it, and they get very upset with you. I learned this yeah. by getting hit with shoes. <laughs> Oh, I don't actually have a problem I'm 34. with it because people always think I'm 50. Yep, and I'm 33. But you haven't seen me. We are proud of 32. <laughs> I've seen you, Dina. I'm Asian. I don't really grow old. No, me. I'm going to be a hot mama. Gross. This is true. <laughs> this is true. This is true. I confirm. Oh, yeah. well, actually, wow. your, your, little, your daughter is absolutely adorable. I'm gross what do you mean gross you don't Slacking like cute again. kids cute kids are awesome dude and trust me not all kids are cute some of them are ugly <laughs> like my sister oops oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh come on you know it's true it's when you have true. the friend show my up with the baby this is my baby i'm so proud i'm so happy and the head's like flat on two sides come on come on you know it is what it is <laughs> Yeah, Being they always work out. Though. It always works out after a little bit. Well, it's interesting when we talk about um, beauty and how um, it affects people, and uh -huh. how Martina was telling the truth about how there's a there's a it's a stereotype, but um, you know they're not certain people on the left. Not all hashtag not all uh -huh. yeah. tend to be a <laughs> certain type of ugly. It's usually well, size. that's true, and they're also quite ugly in their heart, uh, which, uh, which right. That's what I mean. Effect. It's it, yeah. So we can kind of magnify well, you, it. You become what you always talk and well, think and act. Yeah. Right. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, my mom also because uh, Dino, when you were saying something about the weak shoulders or whatever, my mom also has a saying. She's Croatian, and she says, "Uh." Ugly people are God's way of, of saying, like, don't trust them or, like, <laughs> something like uh -huh. that. Like, that there's something wrong with them. And I'm like, oh, oh wow. my God. <laughs> That's a lot of people yeah, not there's to There's a look for it. There's, they, they... Well, you call that kind of like a, our survival mechanism. You see something gross, stay away yeah. from it. That's right. That's it right. might taste good, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, Martina, just so you know, <laughs> I have... people are not food, you know? <laughs> the, no, people are not food. Listen, China, you are absolutely right, Dina. Now, why, you're, you're starting to step out on that limb again. I told you about that. Oh, gosh. Uh, but, uh, go Martina, just so you know, I have very, very broad shoulders. So, you know, it's all good. <laughs> oh, very broad good. indeed. <laughs> <laughs> as well as in the chest area. Uh, oh, yeah. Is it, yes. Is it... Is it good to have broad shoulders or is it bad to have broad oh, shoulders? It's great yep. to have broad shoulders. It's a good thing to have broad shoulders. Yes. It makes no, women I'm, feel I'm secure. Good. Yeah, women like to cling to them. Very... I'll show you a shoulder thing. Yeah. It, it, it's if like, a man has a narrow like, shoulder, it makes women worry. It's just because the shoulders are big. Uh, oh, is that, is <laughs> that what it is? She thinks, oh boy, I'm going <laughs> to die. <laughs> Wow, uh, you guys are jumping on top of the ugly thing, man. That was a joke, you know, right? Uh... <laughs> that hurts. You fall. Sorry, oh, people. People thing. should be. People should be proud if you're when you are beautiful, you know. Because not everybody's beautiful. That's true. Most people aren't actually. Yeah. <laughs> well, especially the part. was really interesting. It was really interesting with the burlesque girls too because they would uh what would they say they would kind of put down 
beauty as like they would call it like generic beauty and they like they just made it seem so bad or that it's not interesting being beautiful um but i mean you know beauty comes it it, there's like uh, extremes to it too because you know there's a uh, you know extremes of beauty and when people get all that like plastic surgery and they become obsessed with beauty then it can become like a sin but when there's just you know natural beauty and the you know it's like a sunflower i mean sunflower it's like a flower or a sunset or just something that god created and it's beautiful like the, there's there's something to admire about it there's something godliness about it but then when it goes to an extreme and you're obsessed with it it's it's mm-hmm. it can be really bad well, uh, you know, uh, we do have a lot of so opinions think, uh, about I don't that like going on. Uh, go ahead, Dina. Dina. Oh, I said I don't that like people weird. who like to change their face. Yeah, it is weird. People go this too is far. It's dishonesty. It is. It is bizarre. And um, uh, now uh, Argos yeah. Creation, Bill from yeah. Argos Creation says, I love to bed ugly people. Well, Bill, you are fugly. So, I mean, you know, what do you want? <laughs> Do not That's talk about bills that too. way. That okay. Okay. Everybody usually likes to stay with their like compatible looks. Like ugly people like to be with ugly mm. people, and pretty people like to be with pretty people. Uh, sometimes pre- there's a mismatch, but not generally. Not for girls. Very often. Girls, ugly girls, like a uh, really average woman like Anita Sarkeesian, she like to be with the other one who are lower than her, so that she can make herself looks better. Well, women There's are far more judgmental like than men are, actually. Yeah. That's true. Mm-hmm. We are very picky. And stop that. Mm-hmm. You guys know I'm picking on Bill. I love Bill. He's a he's a good friend, and he's not that ugly. He's just almost ugly. It's you know, it's not that bad. <laughs> he's not <laughs> that ugly. Not that ugly. Well, I think that's it's, nice it's okay. Is you know, is he normal? What was that guy's name? Bill. That's from, this ugly from guy who plays in TV show. What's his name? <laughs> I don't know. No, 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 Quasimodo. no, no. That, that, that guy who plays Sherlock, he is really ugly, but somehow people say he's handsome. Oh, Benedict Cumberbatch. Are you yeah, talking yeah. about Benedict Cumberbatch? Very Benedict. weird proportions. Benedict. Yeah, yeah. And, he's uh, a very uh, weird looking guy. Looks like Dina. Dina. It's not Sherlock, it's Sherlock. Oh, gosh. Just, it's Sherlock. <laughs> Sherlock. Holmes. <laughs> Shellac. I'm surprised she didn't say shellac. Surprise, didn't say shellac. shellac. <laughs> that would have been even funnier. Because um, um, I read, a, I read an article. They talk about some people are really ugly, but they are so ugly and so unique that people actually think that they are good looking. Well, it has more to do. Isn't I mean, that a uh, matter of opinion? No, okay. it, it's a matter of attitude. I mean, right. It's really what it comes down to. If you I are guess. happy with yourself and you move through the uh, uh, through life being a kind and generous person, you'll be seen more attractive no matter what. I mean, that's the really reality. problem with mm-hmm. with Benedict Cumberbatch uh-huh. is he had an "I'm a feminist" shirt, and at that point, you don't trust him with nothing. <laughs> that's true. That is true. I agree. He could just yeah. be. He, he seems like a he seems like a slimy snake somehow to me. They all do. You see what uh, you see what you and McGregor three. came out with the other day. What about? Oh believe. yeah, and he was like oh, talking boy. about oh how wonderful this this new Birds of Prey film, and then it turns out oh he was cheating on his oh, wife of several years and four children. It was just like oh my gosh, no wonder he was virtue signaling about mm-hmm. that. He's on the grid. Because he's be trying to hide it. Like, every no, single. you know why he did that. It's really simple. People think that he's he, Kevin McGregor. Well, no, the, the the reason he came out and did that, because he's taken a lot of flack because it's, it turned out he's been cheating on his wife for uh, of what he has four children with. He's been cheating on her for a long time. So he's taken a lot of flack in the media for his infi- uh, infidelity, and therefore he's coming out trying to say something to throw a little shade off himself. That's what he's doing. They do this stuff all the time. Uh, it's, it's pretty mm-hmm. standard. Uh, every time they accuse someone for something, they actually did it. That's right. That's I know, it. That's right? Yeah. Weinstein, much. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> so, Willie, Willie, well, Willie. Like what? Why's he got to be like this? Did you, Martina, did you have any close encounters of the male feminist kind in New York? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, of course. <laughs> Aren't they the most permanent um, people, though? Tip. <laughs> I mean, like, okay, so there's like 
two different kinds. So in my industry and in the performing scene, we, we do have like, um, you know, male performers, whether it's like a magician or I don't know, boylesque or some sort of male performer. Um, and they were definitely very like male feminist types. That's why I could never date another like performer. They were just weird. Nope, not into it at all. Yeah. Um, but then you'd be surprised that you, the like, normal guys that have like a regular job they're also pretty like male feminists as well i mean i remember being on a date with a guy and just he was a leftist and everything i would say he was just like shocked and appalled by and he started like yelling at me um at, oh. at the restaurant that we were at and was like and you want kids and acting like i'm a horrible person for my beliefs and that like i want kids and that it's like terrible for society and i started like crying and stuff and i was like sad because he was like a normal guy with a normal job and you know you'd think that he would be a little bit more normal not like the weird artsy performer male feminist guys but yeah. totally cucked yeah no yeah no it, they it, have it, narrow it, shoulders too mm -hmm. yeah yeah true you know uh one time i had this guy come up to me he says uh chesta you know homosexual he was asian and i said nope never heard it before yeah. no, be that's my new york experience <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. sorry I couldn't, re couldn't, re couldn't resist it uh, we have five minutes left guys five just minutes. the least of racist accents to me I'm the professional five yeah minutes. but I have five license minutes. though gosh <laughs> all right uh, we have five minutes left guys uh, do keep in mind that uh, of course uh, when we're done uh, we're going to look at each piece of art and we're going to let uh, Martina give her opinion on it uh, then we'll drop that straw poll and then after that we'll, talk, we'll take a look at the draw along and if you haven't put that up yet please do it's at hashtag DNQFE on Twitter all right do we, do we, you get to pick like an ultimate draw along uh, we will. We usually do. And we'll let Martina do that. Uh, when we show the mm -hmm. draw-alongs, we'll let her pick her favorite. And that'll be the draw-along winner. And then, of course, the straw poll will dictate no! our panelist. Right? Yes, no, you're on the spot. It's part of the job. Mm -hmm. I do apologize. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, yeah. No! All on you. Yes. It's your job to break someone's heart. It is. It is. No. Uh, but do break keep in mind that all these men are fine. drooling. Uh, so whatever you say is golden. You're good to go. But you know that. You know the power of that. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, I, 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 well, it seems like you're actually, it's interesting, uh, the, uh, uh, the trouble right. you're having, because usually it trumps everything, uh, but it doesn't seem to be trumping your issue because of Trump. Oh. <laughs> Trump. See, I'm glad I one person yeah, got my it, joke. It, it, it was nothing back then. So where's the draw oh, off? like it. is it in a hashtag or something you probably can go check it out now it's well, just on twitter hashtag dnqfe i'll uh i'll go and uh he'll bring it up now. here soon yeah mm -hmm. four minutes actually okay okay uh adrian says i see a lot of good work in here tonight uh, vote for tank i gave him my spot nice uh he needs the support uh so someday uh he might be, uh, get the money to get better equipment yeah right uh and of course his piece is absolutely <laughs> killer as well today as usual yeah tank is a really good artist yes he is well we got so many good artists mm -hmm. today so we do that's true i'm not confident at all you're, you're, you're that, killing oh, it you today so though many Dina. times you must be confident that's true yeah mm -hmm. uh now why do uh, i have a russian accent now uh, it, it wasn't. It was still Chinese. Keep working on it. Uh, but uh, <laughs> the RQ Stop says the, okay. presto pin. <laughs> the RQ says uh, Lady Alchemy is a heartbreaker. Uh, actually, I've never seen the RQ uh, here before. Uh, I do appreciate you coming in, and uh, we do hope that you will, uh, if you like what you've uh, heard today, you will hit that subscri subscribe button and the like button as well. Uh, do you know RQ uh, 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 Martina? Is this someone who came over with you? Um, I don't think so. Let me see. The RQ. And also, their name could be different too. From it a... could be. It could be. People have a lot of these yeah. uh, so-called sock accounts. Yeah. Yeah, hey, I'm Niobe's not sure about that one. And if Niobe... she, if he is, he's to probably talk about what, who they are. <laughs> Uh, Chinese borscht. What do you want about Jiminy? Uh, uh, all right, let's see here. Uh, no, no one's saying anything, uh, anything other than hello to Niobe. Of course, very nice. All right, guys, we got two minutes left. Uh, now, um, 
uh, let's uh, uh, take these couple of minutes to talk a little bit more about uh, Lady Alchemy. Now, uh, it's still in demand on the Indiegogo, right? Yes. Um, so far, it's going to be in demand until my artist finishes all the artwork. Yeah. So I figure up until then, uh, just keep it open. So, yeah. Yeah, why not? Right. Why not? Any dollars can come in. And do keep in mind, guys, our cha our, our moderators are, are actually dropping in the uh, link to that. Uh, go check it out. It's actually quite a beautiful project. Uh, it's Like I said, I'm first time for me to see it, but uh, it's, it's really good. Go over and check it out. All right. So, Booster, are you ready? No. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, he was what am I doing? What are you doing over there? Oh yeah, what are you looking are at you now, sure to hold the What am I doing? Uh, well, you're, you're, you need <laughs> to be ready because I'm about to call doing? the show here in a few seconds. Are you prepared? I'm I'm super duper prepared. All you right. know me. Yeah, well, I do hope the straw poll doesn't suck as usual. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, you're such a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> always judging me i'm doing my this jester but you need to be entertaining that's the, that's the point okay all right guys uh here hey, we go hey, uh we've come, end, uh, <laughs> we've come to the end uh we've come to the end here guys uh so uh, i'm gonna count down here uh three two one uh pencils down erasers down everything down digital things down stop what you're doing stop 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 touching it i see you doing that stop it all right uh, very good. Ah. Now, uh, what we're going to do, guys, we're going to go through here and show you each piece of art uh, very clearly. We're going to have Martina give her opinion on uh, on the rendition of Lady Alchemy that we have from each artist. So I'm going to start over here with Zachary. Uh, now, uh, you're on the Hangouts of Martina. You can uh, uh, you can just go ahead and uh, click on them as we go along, or you could just... Uh, yeah, it, we're starting with Zachary. He's on the far right here. Uh, now, uh, I think it's a great piece, Zach. I love it, actually. Uh, but I usually like your art. Uh, this is very different. Uh, you didn't go with the um, ultra grayscale shading that you did. This is a more traditional piece. Uh, but, uh, Martina, what do you think? Yeah, I love it. And it's just like, I'm curious where people get their inspiration from when they're, when they're drawing me. Because I literally have a mask that's exactly like that. Um, and, uh, am I levitating? Oh, yeah, I Cause I absolutely love that as well. You are yes. levitating. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're Yeah. And Did you see um, what he's got in the corner. Basically it was, <laughs> yep. I'm going to, Oh, it's a dead Kiwi. It's a dead Kiwi. It's a sack of shit. He killed a Kiwi on the side. <laughs> uh, just so you know, Martina, uh, Booster's uh, image is a Kiwi. He's a Booster Kiwi. Uh, so a lot of the artists, and you'll see more of this in the drawing along, they will put a little Kiwi in the back, his icon in the back, uh, doing various things. It's kind of become a trope over here. Mm -hmm. uh, but that is a Kiwi who has passed out from too much drool and sweat, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> I think he knows. Oh, too hot. Yeah. So Definitely knows. It is cute. <laughs> it definitely <laughs> does lead. Yeah, it's very cute. Uh, but uh, it's a killer piece, oh, man. It's cute. Uh, so if you guys like what Zach has done, uh, definitely go over to Straw Poll and vote for him. All right. Uh, moving on. Man. Now, Tank won't be able to speak to us because he's having so much trouble. Uh, but uh, at least we can kind uh, of get an image of it. Do you want me to show his piece off? Uh, do you have access to it? I do have access to it. All right. It. Well, oh, I'll do that just then. To, to do share screen. Yeah. Skidoosh. There we go, skidoosh. Uh, now, of course, I'm uh, happy to have Tank in here. Tank's a great artist, and this is a beautiful piece. Uh, you can just uh, click on just Booster and Martini, tank. and you can see it. Uh, what do you think mm -hmm. of uh, Tank's offer for today? Yeah, no, what I love about this is the actual alchemy imagery with mm -hmm. the squaring the circle, the triangles and the circles and stuff. Um, the Eye of Providence. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely got some alchemy imageries in there, which makes me really happy. And some nice thighs, if I don't say so myself. Yep, no, no, <laughs> definitely. Uh, it's a, certainly a great piece. And mm -hmm. thank you very much, Tank. Too bad he's having so much trouble today. We couldn't really hear from him. Uh, but uh, if you guys like what Tank has done, please definitely uh, vote for him in the chat. And uh, Anonymous, I do apologize. We don't have any kind of Zoom control. Uh, but um, uh, moving down here, uh, next we have Joshua. Uh, this is, of course, Metz. And uh, how you doing today, Metz? Did you have fun? Is he, is he good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. when I'm not fun. roboting. That's the best yeah. time of my life. 
he you are roboting it's true uh but yeah. uh martina what do you think of this uh piece that uh, metz has done today oh my god Uh, wait, is it jo Joshua? This is Joshua, yeah, is Joshua. Yeah. He has multiple names. He's <clears throat> also, also called Ewok. He's one of those peoples. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I, I love the the energy force that I'm able to harness. And um, wow, did he really, like, get my necklace, earrings, and pasties and corset, like, spot on? That's definitely, like, from one of my actual outfits. I can tell. Oh, cool. So he went and did he, uh, his uh, homework, his research. Awesome. Yeah, uh, it's definitely like an actual outfit that I have. It's crazy. Awesome. Uh, well, if you guys like what uh, – I'm sure Booster probably put him in the poll as Mets. Uh, who, what, what name did you put it under? He is under Joshua Metz, yes. So just Joshua Metz. Uh, so uh, if you like what uh, Joshua has done, definitely get over there and vote for him, guys. And uh, hopefully next time he comes on, he doesn't robot so much, Mr. Hawkins. Uh, but uh, moving down here, uh, <laughs> this is Eric. Uh, Eric Hawkins. Not Hawking, Hawkins. He's the only Eric we need. Uh, although, Eric Weathers, please come back. We love you. Uh, but, no, um, no Eric Weathers. No Eric Weathers. Uh, but uh, this is really nice, uh, Eric. I like it. I really love how you turned Martina into Pocahontas. Uh, so uh, rock on, dude. Uh, no, what it reminds me of actually is uh, J uh, Rainmaker in Gen 13. Ah, hey, there you yeah. go. Nice. You, oh, you definitely. read comic books? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. And she, she, and she reads comics. It's perfect. They're drilling down. <gasps> uh, well, okay, I mean, all right. She is the ultimate. When woman. I was younger. In, yeah, in the 90s, uh, I, when I was a kid, I used to just sit there and just load up my computer on those old big computers with dial-up internet and just save, like, sexy comic book girls. I love, uh, like, Fathom and Rainmaker and Witchblade and stuff like that. Fathom. That's uh, but, yes, it definitely well. gives me Rainmaker vibes, which I loved growing up. That was the one that, like, I resonated with. So I love that about it. And um, alchemy symbols. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> and no you got problem. that. Uh... Oh, cool. Yeah, no, it is cool. Uh, and if you guys like what Eric has done, uh, definitely go over there and vote for him in the straw poll and make sure you vote under Pocahontas. So we're all good to go. And I want to see 500 votes tonight. 500. 500. Vote 500. twice. 500. Vote thrice. <laughs> Oh, do not encourage Shut them, up. Eric. Uh, okay, <laughs> moving along here, guys. Uh, we have Dina's piece. Uh, now, Dina, could you back up uh, your camera a little bit for us? Uh, so we... Like getting closer? Uh, no, 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 no. We want you to get further away so we or can see further. the whole piece, if you wouldn't mind. Less close. Uh, Back up. I, no? I try because my, I, I put my I webcam I see. on the lamp. That's okay. It's okay. Uh, just move the paper up uh, on, the, on the table so we can see what's uh, down the bottom here. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah. See, there's a whole huge section of it we couldn't see. Uh, but, uh, of course, this is Are a beautiful bumps? piece. Uh, yeah. Very nice, Bob. Yes, I agree. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, she couldn't get it all inked. But uh, that is a killer piece, though, Dina. I really like it. Yeah. What do you think about it, Martina? Yeah, I'm. I'm always such a fan. I'm always a fan of Dina's work. Uh, I mean, just I love the lines. Mm -hmm. The lines is just. It's so cool, and I love that it's like a different style. It's a portrait. Got that structural, generic nose of mine. Love it. Love it. And. Um, yeah, it's just like very, very different, and I love it. It's very classic. It's one of those like classic uh, art pieces from like uh, what is it? Is it Jobs? No. It's, uh, the old like rolling papers. Yeah, art. So yeah, Art Nouveau. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm always a fan. I love it. Awesome. Very Thank good. You. And I love it too. I think it's a great piece, and it's very, uh, it's very druidic as well. Uh, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you guys like what Dina is doing, uh, definitely get over in the straw poll and vote for her. Uh, moving down here, we have star storyteller, uh, Claire. I don't know uh, how Booster has put her in there, either one of those, I'm sure. Uh, but a uh, very cute piece. I do like it. And this is taking straight off the Lady Alchemy webpage, uh, not the comic. Uh, so uh, it's very interesting. And uh, Martina, what are you thinking? Yeah, I love the headdress and the flung fabrics. Totally it. But I also love when artists use, like, highlights. Well, I mean, first of all, you got to give props to that. This is, like, actually hand-drawn, just like uh, Dina and what's, and Tank. So that's always, like, amazing to see people doing it old school. Um, but I always really like when they do, when they add the highlights, add white to it. It always, like, brings things out. 
and that's it's, sparkle. That is true. It's amazing how much the negative space yeah. actually affects things. Yeah, it is cool. Yeah. Uh, but um, I well, think it's great. It's actually white out. Mm -hmm. No, no, yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> um, uh, I've seen a lot of artists using white out, and I never knew you guys did that. It's pretty cool. It's smart, actually. Yeah, it's, um, it's a really great yeah. effect. Yeah, it is. Uh, so if you guys like what uh, Star is doing here, uh, once again, I don't know if it's under Star Storyteller or Claire. Uh, uh, what would you put it under? Booster. Mm, both. Yeah. You put it both. Okay. Uh, so I, definitely... I do both, just just to be uh, absolutely uh, safe. Huh? Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm it's good to be safe, like that, Booster. Uh, and yeah. what was your safe word again? You were telling me. Hmm? Banana. Banana. That's what it is. Banana. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, so uh, definitely get over there. And, uh, 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 no, no, no. It's certainly not our show. Uh, but uh, <laughs> we're going to go over oh there and you guys are going to vote if no. you like no, what that, she's doing. The, safe, please, the word please. for harder is harder. Oh, God. <sighs> Moving on to our last artist of today, uh, we have Siege back with us, and uh, once again, just a killer piece. Uh, this is another artist that came out of nowhere from me, and uh, I'm very impressed. Uh, so, uh, Martina, what are you thinking about Siege's work here today? I mean, it's on point. I love it. Yeah. I want a copy of everyone's stuff, but I mean, like... I just, I really do love this so much. I don't even know what to say. I just think it's on point. Oh, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I no, don't want to, like, you can make her. Like, yes, you make her you have looks heart. like a Lady Liberty. A little bit late, late, Lady Liberty, yeah. And uh, yeah. It, is, it is great piece. Very New York. Oh, thank you. Very New York. Mm -hmm. uh, but, um, yeah, no, we got some great pieces here today. And do keep in mind, artists, all of you, after the show, uh, go into the Discord, the fa Fan Edition Discord, and go into the after show and drop your art into the Dropbox so that Pixel has it for the archive, okay? Uh, don't forget to do that. Now, uh, of course, the Pro Edition has been shut down because of, you know, silliness. Uh, but, um, you know, so we won't be sending any, anyone over to the Pro Edition, so you don't need to send one to my Twitter particularly, uh, but definitely get into the after show uh, for Pixel to keep that archive. Uh, but nevertheless, guys, uh, this is... gets a head pat. A head pat from the booster. And a well done. And a well done. And, and, and you'll have to go wash later. Uh, but that's okay. Yeah. Uh, but, um, oh, yeah. Uh, the guys definitely go over the straw poll and uh, uh, vote for your favorite. Uh, once again, uh, we have uh, Zach, we have Joshua, Eric, hey, hey. Dina, Dina, Claire, and Siege, as well as Tank. Hey, mm -hmm. all right. Uh, so uh, now Are what's going to happen? Getting someone. I am not forgetting anyone. I don't think, am I? Booster? Oh no, boot no. God, oh, God no. No, no he is uh, not count. No. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sacrilege. Oh, man. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, showing tanks one. Uh, he is showing tanks. I'm not one, allowed on the poll. They're, they're terrified of my power. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Uh, so Booster's going to drop that poll right now, and uh, you guys get over there and vote. And then what we're going to do right is now? we're going to uh, go right now, right now, right now. There you go. Uh, there's a straw poll, guys. Uh, so definitely please go over and vote. And uh, if you could do me a favor, a favor uh, Mortal V or Jiminy, uh, one of you guys, uh, keep the poll <laughs> flowing for everyone because uh, Booster's going to be busy. Uh, because whilst you guys are voting, to do we are going to go over and we are going to take a look at the draw along, which is absolutely awesome. And if you have not put your piece in, definitely go over to Twitter and go to hashtag DNQFE and put it in. And we're going to take a look at it. So, uh, Booster, you mean white box? Oh. Take it away, All sir. right, so here we are, starting off with Tolfa here. Ooh. Very, uh, horns going on here. That's very Looking interesting. Very maleficent like. That's what I'm getting five from. It is. Well, it kind of reminds me of Corny oh, Tip, yeah. but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, corny, corny Tip. Yeah, that's oh, an inside yep. joke. I don't know what that means. No, not at all. Yep. Uh, but uh, very no. nice Tolfa. Excellent, excellent. Here's uh, Argos Creations. Has got this going on, and uh, oh my his wow. zoom of that. Oh my gosh. That's really cool. Yeah. It's cheating. Yeah. It's color, it's cheating. He is what cheating. The but then, once color? again, keep it to yourself, Zach. We know <laughs> where that's from. Qualified. Yeah, yeah. That's actually <sighs> Laz. Uh, but uh, that is, wow, he's killing that piece, though, dude. Look at that, dude. Yeah, nice, Bill. Yeah. Yeah. Kicks ass. 
Yeah. You know, Bill is a really good artist, uh, but when he starts drawing, dropping color on things, he takes an, it takes another level. And uh, we know that uh, bad coloring can kill a project, but uh, Bill's good at that. Aww. Hey, here's uh, my Turtle. boy, Tittle Rabbit Fox. <laughs> <laughs> here we have Lady Alchemy with big sword fighting, all sorts of demons over here. Yeah. Well, you know, we didn't take any time to talk about exactly what it is Lady Alchemy fights. Uh, I'm assuming she fights wizards and stuff, but is she against demons? Or, or what does she fight against, uh, Martina? Um, yeah, we I think we like mentioned it a little bit briefly, but there is, um, you know, like uh, let's see, mass media corporate boss, uh, like the oh, what, what did I say? It's like uh, Conde, like the Conde Nast type boss. So that's kind of like the entity that is kind of like, and, and there's a reason why I had the the may uh the bad figure be a woman because you know i think that that is kind of the problems with like these Conde nas type um you know companies is that they're putting all this propaganda out there that people consume and it's just like terrible 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 and it eats people's souls so Ooh. basically that's what she oh. does this evil um Conde nas type mm. Um, corporate boss has uh, like these weird abilities to like consume people's souls and take on their energy and and she like feeds off of it so yeah there's definitely like these demon spirit kind of things that that are around which i think actually do exist you know it's like energies it's people's like aura and sure. their energy and people can be like vampires and they can suck that energy or you know, manipulate people through that energy. Mm -hmm. Is it uh, Abraham? Well, have, is uh, it Abrahamic Morgan? imagery, or is it Cthulhu-esque? <sighs> what was that? that? Is it Abrahamic imagery, or is it yeah, Cthulhu-esque? Um, Alex Jones level. No. Is it? Does I don't it know, look like one, Christian like, demons, or is it Cthulhu? Yeah, everything that I do is like. Definitely like a Western Christian. Like oh that's what I know. Christian I see. Oh, cool. Um, but right. yeah, I mean, he's killing us. He is, and and Booster, could you do me a favor and go back, please? Go back where you were before. So yeah, come back down right there. That one. No, us. <laughs> Who is this? Is this Matt? It's Weldon, of course. It is Weldon. Weldon. Jesus, yep. Matt. Oh wow. Have you, are you seeing this? But That's he captured your face he's really so well, good. actually. He's so good. He is amazing. Yeah. Look, look at, at this look. It's a little bad. <laughs> the terror cards are just removed. Dad, oh, are you oh seeing this, gosh. Martina? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's beautiful. Really good. It's I mean, really I'm just good. like oh. so cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And another one from. I have to make no. Oh, he makes three. Yes, you should. Oh, wow. Look at that. And the tarot cards at the bottom spelling alchemist. So yeah. cool. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, it's um, a tarot card. Awesome as that. Where did you come up with this stuff? Oh, yeah, he's awesome. lady, alchemy. Hey, hey, look at that. that. F. That is badass. And, and uh, of course, uh, so one of the great things about the fan edition, uh, Martina, is we have a collection of over 100 artists like you're seeing here today. So that's a great place. If anyone needs an artist mm -hmm. for their project, come and ask. We have access. Here's Adrian Tiffis, the quietest oh, boy in the tank. Jordan Quarter Fan Edition. As he is uh, apparently endorsing Tank. I don't. The, I, I feel like this is breaking the rules somehow, but. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. It's a nice piece, though, Adrian. Around. I like it. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's really good, bro. That is really yeah. cool. It is cool. Yeah. Oh, here's, a, here's Tank Ferret's actual piece. So that doesn't count. That's, a, that's not yeah, a fan yeah, one. That's not a fan. <gasps> Ooh. Here we are. Ooh, oh, Alan. Hal Jeez, Comics Alan killing it again. Hal, Hal killed it. Yeah, Hal. Hal. Damn, Hal. Uh, Hal Comics. That is a beautiful Hal piece. Hal is so here. good at making... He comes in here all the time. Yeah. Dynamic pose. Occasionally, but yeah. Yeah, yeah he knows he is Good time. stuff all the time. Yeah, we got it. We want to shift mm -hmm. it around. We want to have as many people as possible in, right? Uh, but uh, Alan absolutely killed it as usual, dude. Kill beautiful piece. Mm-hmm. It, it reminds yep, me of yep. um, Sarah and... from Labyrinth. Oh, uh -huh. oh yeah. Okay, there you go. Uh, mm -hmm. Who is this? Uh, is this Chino? This is uh, JCM. Uh, uh, JCM. Okay. All right. Jim Marone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. I like the dress. Very clean. Very lovely. Yeah, good, good mm -hmm. dress there. Oh yeah, and I love that. There's the uh, what is it? Metatron's cube or whatever in the hand. Is that Metatron or? I'm not sure. I can't make it out. Oh, I don't know. It looks like that just means. a magical. Uh, it looks just like magic uh, coming out the hands. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there we have it. I believe that's it. Let's just hit a refresh real quick. Yep, that's all for today for the uh, draw along. So what? Do you, so you're and telling I say me this one wins? Yeah, I, no uh, bias. Well, we're gonna let Martina choose that. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I'm kind of oh surprised with um, uh, you know, I'm kind of surprised with uh, John Diller coming in here, flapping his lip, uh, and not actually putting a piece in. What you doing, John? You're <laughs> slacking. And how about you, Jiminy? I see you yeah. over here. I see you, Slack. Jiminy. Where's your draw along? Yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you, Mama. That's what I'm going to do. Can't, can't rely on mm -hmm. them. Yeah, like, I'm too I'm pro. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Now, uh, Martina, uh, would you like Melon to pick your too. favorite draw other... along? Not the actual artist here, uh, just the draw along. Well, which one did you like best? Oh, God, I hate doing this because there's so many <laughs> good qualities of a lot of them. And I just feel like I'm hurting people if I don't pick theirs. Oh, but which one am I supposed to pick? The people from the hashtag or the people on the stream right now? No, the people on, on the, the hashtag. On the, on the hashtag. Yeah, hashtag. Mm -hmm. On the hashtag, so yeah. not the people on the stream. Um, I mean, I'm going to have to go with, with Weldon. Yeah, yeah, we agree. Yeah. Although, Alan, the one uh, with the Kiwi? Powell, Powell oh, makes it really well, too. <laughs> yeah, it's the... It, this one? This one? Oh, it's probably the other yeah, one. Yeah, it's really good too. Yeah, no, it's the other one, I'm sure. The one with the tarot. Yeah, that one is uh, is beautiful. Uh, this one right I here. I don't know, it's hard. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> here, it <laughs> is yeah, and the key and, and the booster. Booster's in the back and there. He's all. He, he does a he does a ridiculous I like the one with the tarot card, but I I somehow I, yeah, I like the one with like you headdress. It's just it's very lady alchemy. Yeah. Like that one's just like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sweet. Well, yeah. ta uh, well, uh, like um, Mr. Matt Weldon, you win again. Damn it. Uh, when do you got to come over here oh. and draw on the show, sir? Sir, there's no more pro edition, <laughs> so you got to come over here, sir, if you want to if you want to be part of the uh, draw along, uh, uh, drawing a quarter. Uh, so uh, thank you very much with that, guys. Now, what I'm going to do, of course, is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to vote myself, and then I'm going to call it. Uh, so, <clears throat> ooh, look at that. Very easy. Now, uh, Martina, have you voted in the straw poll yet? Where is the poll? Okay, well, you go over to the, poll the YouTube is in the uh, chat on YouTube. Yep. And, I'm uh, posting it there. Yep, it's a, you see a straw poll oh. right here. And uh, keep in mind, oh, guys, it's easy to do. It doesn't cost you anything. You don't have to download anything. Just click on it and vote. Simple, simple, simple. Uh, now, we do have uh, about 60 people in here, so uh, I, I know who I'm voting for today. That's a pretty easy choice, I think. Not necessarily. Ooh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I uh, no. I have to. I have to. I have to vote for this. Jiminy's not here, so I have to vote for somebody else. Here we go. All right. All right. Well, there we go. Uh, so we have 59 votes in here. Wow. We only have 58 watchers. No, 60. So we're doing good. Uh, so I guess I'm going to call it at 60. Uh, so uh, whoever gets the next vote in will end the straw poll, guys. And uh, it's a pretty clear leader. One more vote. There it is. Boom. All right. So I'm calling it uh, right there. And we got a three-way tie for third place, too. Interesting. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to go through this, guys. And we're going to... Uh, six, 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 six. Uh -oh. Yeah, I know. Six, 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 six. Yeah, I know. It's, it's perfect. It's perfect. Uh, here we go. Oh, no. uh, so uh, in last runner-up place, uh, we have Claire, <laughs> star storyteller, uh, with her beautiful piece. Uh, very, very nice, uh, Star. Uh, glad to have you in here. Claps for Star. Claps. Very nice. Very nice. Hey, everybody. Very nice. All right. And um, uh, <laughs> then in the uh, second to last runner-up position, uh, we have Eric Hawkins, no relation to Steven. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's true. It is true. <laughs> what? what? Where's my, my Hawkins militia? I was supposed to get like 500 votes. You got five. You were close. You're like a percentage um, of it. Oh, close. Okay. Yeah, yeah close. Yeah. No, they don't show up there. I'm sorry. But that was a wonderful Pocahontas, though. Wrong show, but very good Pocahontas. Mm -hmm. So uh, class for Eric. It looks different Eric. with color. 
that's true. It's yeah, rain, yeah, it's rain dancer herb. It is. The shading is beautiful. All right. Uh, mm-hmm. Then we have a three-way <laughs> tie for third place, uh, and the bronze medal goes to three. I don't think I have the money to cover all three of them there, Booster. You're gonna have to. You got to chip in, buddy. Uh, but uh, we do have a three-way mm-hmm. tie for third place. Yeah, uh, no, we I, have. I'm not gonna do that. No, I know. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't ask that of you anyway. Yeah. Uh, your tomato I'm weighing job is uh, kind of minimal. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm not rich until February. That's true. That is true. Uh, but we yeah. have uh, Zachary Bradley endorses <coughs> Booster's murder. What? We have mm-hmm. Joshua mm-hmm. Metz uh, <laughs> unifies all pervs. Why not? Goodness, goodness gracious. And, of course, we have Dina Israel, <laughs> no boobs today. Oh, well. Uh, but anyway, congratulations Bumps. to you guys. Thank you very much for participating. Claps. Yeah. Claps for the third placers. Claps for them. Let me hear it. There you go. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, now we have in uh, second place with a silver medal, uh, standing all by himself with 12 votes. We have Tank Ferret Robot Invasion. Amazing. All right. Claps. And it is a good piece too, Tank. Thank you very much. Where's yeah. the clapping? Pretty oh, awesome. Great piece. There we go. All right. And then in first place with 22 votes and the gold medal. And not going anywhere, but happy to have her. Nowhere to go. We have Siege Mm -hmm. is on the Siege. Absolutely. And that is a killer piece Mm -hmm. from her as well. So congratulations to you, Siege. Uh, Very happy to have you on the show. Very happy. Very happy. Uh, Uh, Goodness. She's two for two. I mean, just take a look at it. It's beautiful. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Siege is a really good artist, uh, yeah. and uh, you know uh, I, I heard it, I, I wish Cat would have spoke up a little sooner because we would definitely had Cat in here as well. Having a, a lot of the female artists in here today might have been fun, uh, but we did have three of them, and uh, they all did really well. Uh, so and so did everybody else. And of course, Eric is already cheating, and he's starting to color his piece. I can color it now, right? It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Oh, uh, I'm surprised you right do a little color. bit better because that's beautiful. Uh, yeah. yeah. It is great. Hello, fast boy. All right. Now, uh, of course, what we're going to do uh, today, guys, is I'm going to go down and I'm going to let everybody tell you where they can be found and uh, give them an opportunity to promote any projects they are working on. Uh, so, uh, Zach, we're going to start with you, man. Hey, I'm Zach. You can find me on Twitter at Zach underscore DB. Currently working on my comic, World of Golma. Deep into it. Awesome. So deep that I forget that I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, and great piece today, dude. Beautiful. Absolutely Thank beautiful. Thank you. Uh, now, Tank, uh, can you be heard? Uh, do you have any volume going on at all? Can can, I, can can you hear me? A little bit. A little bit. You sound like you're in Russia, yeah, but I, it's all right. Well, Cobalt, you know, it's very cold out here. Yes. Uh, you can find me on the on the Twitter, on Tank Ferret Arts. Uh, yes, and I am working on Skillful Zero. This Billy Amerikansky comic book about cyberpunk or something. Uh, nobody wants that. No, yes. nobody wants that. No, you want slow boy, good Russian cyber jewelry. Yes, no Amerikansky cheapo knockoff scalpel zero, no. No. Uh, now, of course, keep what in mind, guys, that Mortal have, V is already... What information do you have? No, no, no. Uh, but Mortal V, of course, is ahead of it, and he's got your uh, link up here to check out the Scalpel Zero and stuff like that. Now, do keep in mind, we have Scalpel Zero coming up here on the Ultimate Edition. Now, we're no longer the Fan Edition. We're the Ultimate Edition. Uh, and uh, I do hope by that time, uh, Tank, you get your mic worked out perfectly uh, so that we can have a good conversation with you. All right? Uh, let's uh, come yeah. on down. Yes, yes, more Russian stuff. Great. Uh, we have Joshua Metz here. Now, uh, Metz, tell them where they can find you and um, what you might have going on. You guys can find me at Twitter at Legends underscore end. And uh, keep an eye out because I'll be launching a project soon. Wow, we almost got there. Almost got there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, no. It was talking clean on my end. I think, it's all, I think it was all you alone. It, it's it is all him. It's definitely his fault. I blame him. No, I think it's your fault, Chester. No, it's certainly. How could it be my fault? Very easily. You censored me. <laughs> Chester would never do that. I'm Did a very me. nice guy. Uh, uh, but then, of course, I would never do that anyway. But uh, no, you just get a better computer. 
spend money. <laughs> okay. Uh, but, uh, of course, uh, Mortal B's got it taken care of. Uh, definitely check that out, guys. Uh, moving down here, we have Eric Hawkins. Uh, dude, tell them where they can find you. Hey, you can find me on Twitter at ES underscore Hawkins, on Facebook under Eric Scott Hawkins. Uh, you can go check out uh, Kickstarter for uh, Celebrity Ghost Hunters. That's a project I'm involved in that's uh, got like nine days left, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, that's about it. Sweet. That is very awesome. Uh, so, guys, definitely check out and support Eric and uh, support everybody and what they're doing. Uh, so, uh, moving down here, Dina, Dina. Uh, do you have a place where people can reach you, or are they still going through me? Um, I have my Twitter. Like, I mean, the Twitter is always there. Uh-huh. So you can uh, reach me at Eli Luca one E-L-I-L-U-C-K-1. Yeah. And there you can find me. Or you can contact either Booster or Chester. Mm-hmm. And they know where to find me, too. We do. And uh, once again, c- congratulations on the pregnancy. Uh, very nice to hear. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, new babies is always awesome. Uh, moving down the line here, we have ourselves uh, Claire, star storyteller, and uh, she's also pregnant. So congratulations to you. Uh, always happy to hear this kind of news. Uh, but uh, tell the folks where they can find you and uh, any projects you might be working on. Uh, I'm I'm still behind on mine, but um, I don't have a project quite yet. But it, I'm starting to work on it. Uh, but you can find me on Twitter at star story, and then te- tell. And so that's T L L E R one. And I'm usually on Twitter occasionally. That's a good way to um, get a hold of me. But uh, yeah, so um, yeah, just kind of working my way, trying to get over a cold. Oh, well, yeah, we got, definitely don't want that. <laughs> plenty of plenty of vitamins and uh, honey tea. Honey tea. That's the way to go. <sighs> Uh, all right, moving down here, we have Siege with us again today. We're very happy to have her. You're, you're welcome to come back anytime, by the way. Uh, we love your Hi. art. Uh, and uh, you are not pregnant, correct? I am not pregnant. Okay, good. Because I'm good. not cool. Yeah. Oh, okay, because you're not cool. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, do, do tell us uh, where the folks can find you and uh, any projects you're working on. Um, I have my Twitter, which is Tea Time Drone. Drone is spelled D R O A N. Mm hmm. And then I have my Instagram, which is Dronadon, D-R-O-A-N dot A-D-O-A-N. Sweet. Very nice. And uh, definitely check that out. And uh, hoping that we will see a project from you in the future. Uh, do keep in mind, guys, that uh, that's one of the great things about Drone and, Qu- uh, Drone and Quartered. We do. Uh, of course, we're supporting, uh, supporting all these artists. And if you are looking for an artist for your project, uh, you need not look any forward, uh, Father. We have over 100 of them here. And uh, you can see all the different styles and stuff. And I'm sure one of them will match what you're looking for. Uh, and, of course, that's one of the main purposes of what we do here uh, is to try to show off these artists and uh, and make it easy for you to find them and use them in your upcoming stories. And we know several people have already had opportunities, and we hope to see more and more and more of that happening in the future. Uh, now, Booster, would you like to say something intelligible? Nah. That's what I thought. Uh, all right, but uh, definitely go check out Booster and, and back Find Booster channel. at Booster Kiwi. Yeah, and uh, he has a YouTube channel, which has absolutely zero content, but you can join it as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Content um, free, guarantee, baby. Content free, guaranteed. <laughs> Sub to uh, Booster. <laughs> sub to booster i love it uh, and of course uh sub to everyone support everybody as much as you can and this allows us all Must to interact busy. much better uh so uh, i want to come over here and say thank you to our guest uh martina uh it's been a pleasure uh your project is absolutely beautiful uh and uh it's i'm really glad i got to see it finally because uh, it's uh, it's it's excellent and it's still in demand, so you guys can go check it out. Uh, so uh, Martina, yeah. I'm going to leave you with the closing words of today. So uh, say whatever you like. Ooh, again, more pressure. I should have prepared something. Uh, a kind of oh, speech. Yeah. Uh, no, thank you so much for having me. You know, it's just really nice to be around awesome, good, decent people, talented people, um, and I made sure that I'm following each and every single one of you. Um, and I would just love to, uh, give back any way I can, which is just promote, promote your show, promote your channel, promote the artists. And, uh, that's what I'll do. That'd be awesome. 
Oh, sweet. Thank awesome. you so much. Thank you. Well, thank you thank very you. much for coming on. It was a good conversation. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, do keep in mind that uh, here on Fanspeak, uh, of course, tomorrow is our day off. Uh, I, I usually do uh, uh, the pontificators over on Art T. Bear show uh, when I can, uh, but I won't be doing that tomorrow because I do have obligations in the city. Uh, but nevertheless, on the Saturday, we have Fanspeak, of course. Uh, and then on Sunday, we have the big TFT tinfoil talk, Hollow Earth. And if you want to be part of that, definitely contact me on my Twitter down below, and I'll get you on the show. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so thank you guys very much, and I'm about to play myself an outro. So uh, later, everybody. Later. Bye. So Love you. you. <laughs>